Welcome, everybody, to the H3 Podcast. It is Wednesday, October 18th. Everybody is so excited to play because today we have a very, very special game. We have with us a 22-year-old man who has never tried a vegetable. Who, of course, is it we're talking about? The Taco Bell-loving, Chick-fil-A-devouring, king of all fast food consumption. It is love! Very exciting stuff here today. Sam, our resident uh, Michelin star chef, has prepared eight different uh, vegetable dishes. Deliciously, you know. Wow. Wow. And, And made I say... Prepared in such a way that it could, it could appeal to love's palate. For example, bacon-wrapped asparagus. Bacon. Potentially something you might like. So that's coming up a little bit later. Thank you to uh, Gamer Subs. Thank you to Stamps.com. Hold on, let me, uh, let me juice my brain up here. Cheers. Cheers, my dude. Oh, man, I'm buzzing, dude. Also, besides that, we're getting a call from everybody's favorite Infobren. This is a one of my favorite guys out there. He does these TikTok videos where he wears these undercover glasses and he he makes me so, so uncomfortable. Um, It's 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 quite compelling. And so we actually planned a segment with him. He went out uh, at our uh, at our behest to a bike rally that was happening here in LA, and uh, we just said, "Go have some fun and record it, and let us know how it goes." And so we have the footage of that, which, as I'm understanding, is gonna is pretty compelling stuff. <laughs> Very exciting. And he's gonna be calling in at two uh, to share his commentary on the day. So that that we're all looking forward to, aren't we, folks? We sure are. We sure are. Oh, yeah. We sure are. (laughs) Yeah. (coughs) Excuse me. On on Monday, I'm having some issues beating the accusations uh, about uh, toilet paper gate. I came under extreme fire, not just from uh, the crew here in the studio, but everybody at home had a lot to say about... Toilet paper gate. Uh, where's- did you pull that clip, baby? Yeah, you said to send, uh, in WhatsApp. Oh. I'll send it right here. One sec. Can you- yeah, sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... I- Listen, guys. I really genuinely didn't know. I mean, here, I'll play it for those of you, just to rejog our memories. And we'll talk about it. We'll debrief a little bit. Here it is. Roll it. Did you just misspeak, or are you putting paper towels in the toilet? <laughs> that, so yeah, no, I didn't misspeak. It's a paper what? towel. Okay, what? that's why it's getting what? clogged. We, we have, have solved it, gang. We have exercised the demons. You are you shit outside. You shit outside, you shit outside now. You, you got shit in the fucking alley now. You're throwing snooze okay. down the toilet. Bro. You're putting a whole roll of paper towels in there. You honestly like flushing tampons might even be better. Like I don't, I don't know. What do you want me to do? Mystery You're a criminal. Wow. You're the You're one. You. you. <laughs> Unfair. <laughs> why, well, how, why does this affect you guys so much? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. First of all, Zach, I nev- when did I tell you not to flush snooze? I don't know what you do in the bathroom. It was like a, it was a while ago. I said don't flush snooze? Yeah. How did I know you were even putting it in the toilet? Uh, because I think one of them it did get clogged for some reason, and there was like a floating snooze in there. Mm. Okay, well, can both be true? I suppose, yeah. yes. Yeah, both can be true. Listen, I don't know what to tell you guys. I have a blind spot, I guess. That, and that's why we love this show. That's why we come here to fill in our blind spots and to make us all more word worldly. You need to leave. Apparently. Uh, placing a paper towel down and shitting in it like a dumpling <laughs> is not good for plumbing. But I, I always figured paper towels would be, um, they just dissolve. I mean, it's just paper, right? Just paper. Right. Right? 
I mean, it's not like a wet wipe, which are more like fib way more fibrous. Yeah. Mm -mm. Paper towels are made to suck up water and not dissolve. That's yeah, their have you one seen purpose. the commercials? <laughs> They do flex yeah. that. Those are really yeah. important parts of the commercials. That's the one thing. These paper rock. towels are so they effective, flex. they will clog your plumbing, no question about it. See, maybe they need to make it less effective because, you know, uh, you never know. Those things could end up in the toilet and then all of a sudden you got a problem. I think they, they're too effective, frankly. I think it's a problem. Uh, here is a flashback. People, or AB, you, you had brought up that you... Yeah. You had mentioned it before, and so people went back and pulled this clip. I'm clogging toilet. Unless there's Too another much. another <laughs> variable. <laughs> are you putting are you putting something else in the toilet? Right. We were talking about uh, my frequent clogging. Correct. AB had a theory. Oh, Chad doesn't know what snus is. It's it popularized in Scandinavia, but it's just a little pouch of nicotine. It's like chewing tobacco mm -hmm. that you put under your your lip. Just a little pouch. It's actually become somewhat popular in America. Yeah, very. It's like people using it. Cool. I don't know why. <laughs> well, you tell us, Zach. Well, there's some with tobacco, and then there's another product that doesn't have tobacco in it. Um, but yes, uh, the snooze is cooked tobacco, where dip is not cooked, where you can't really swallow dip. You can swallow the juice. Uh, from I don't snooze. think you're supposed to swallow the snooze juice, bro. Oh yeah. No, you are. You are. You are. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because you put mm. it under your lip where it doesn't really touch saliva. Right. I mean, the goal is to not have that much juice. But, but yeah, you can yeah. compared compared to like dip tobacco. Bro, I don't know. I I've done a fair bit of those when I was in Israel because it's popular there. Is swallowing that juice is wild to me, bro. Is it possible that it was? Uh, the uncured tobacco, like like dip, because they do make dip pouches. No, it was the Scandinavian stuff. Okay. Yeah. I hope you could swallow that shit because I first tried it here with Zach, and he told me I could, or not here, what well, Zach gave it to me, and he told me you could swallow it. So I mean, you can. I don't think it's. I don't think it's okay. more harmful than putting it in your mouth. Yeah. That being I, said, it's so vile. I mean, the first time I I tried to accidentally swallow a little bit, my ears were burning, dude. <laughs> what? No, I'm telling you, it, it, try one of these. Yeah, it'll make you pass out. It's like half it'll make times. you pass yeah. out. <laughs> the one I tried didn't have nicotine in it, so. What the oh, fuck okay. are you guys talking about? Who wants about? to try one? Wait, I oh, do. But, Zach, do you have them? I don't. I no, don't. I don't. It's horrible for you. It's they are really bad. bad. Okay, Friday. First time. <laughs> we can order it, though. Do you want first... me to Instacart it? <clears throat> yeah. yeah, let's do that. Okay. Because it got, it got the nicotine, it got the tobacco, all that shit. Makes you dizzy as fuck. That being said, it's... it is a really disgusting habit. It's definitely mouth cancer central. And it makes your gums all dark and nasty. It's yeah. really a gross house. I think you're thinking of dip here. Zach, are you seriously I'm, deluded I'm, yourself? I, no, this is the truth. Snooze doesn't cause mouth I didn't cancer. say that. I, I, I'm it's the same thing. You're putting a pa pack of tobacco in your mouth and keeping it there against your lip. I'm just saying I've done my research on this. You have? Yeah. So, you can definitely swallow it, but it's not... It's, it's 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 not the swallowing. It's the it's the act of having something with nicotine and a whole bunch of chemicals and toxins up against your lip, your mem your sensitive yeah. membranes for like hours at a time, nonstop every day. It, it burns a hole in, in your lip. <coughs> in your upper lip. What, Dan? Put your balls in my mouth. What? What's that have to do with anything, man? Chill. It's not funny. Um, snus an oral cancer. A case series report. <coughs> Here's the abstract, let's see. Snus is a form of snuff used in particular manners in America, dipping tobacco, but it does not typically result in the need for spitting. Yeah, I don't spit with it either. You just don't accumulate the, the saliva. What do you mean? But you're gonna it, naturally it, it, just have some no, saliva, because you, right? No, you because you're supposed to like tuck it back and almost vacuum seal it under your lip. Well, you can go upper decker up or lower decker. Sure, so it is, it, it, yeah, it does get wet, but you're not like sucking on it like a lozenge. You can though. That's f crazy. <laughs> Nobody does that, right, love? Sucking on it like a s no, lozenge. No, one, no one sucks on it, but you'll throw <clears throat> like the, the 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 pros will throw it into their mouth and push it up with their thong. Yeah, thong. that's how you do it, man. Like that. That's upper decker shit right there. Zach, we're ordering it. Will you suck on one like a lozenge? I suppose. Yeah. All right. Let's the, see. The problem is in the state of California, they banned all flavored. Tobacco, so now they have just like the straight 
tobacco flavor, whereas back in the day, you could get like mint or there was like another flavor that they had of snooze. Bro, if they banned snooze in Sweden, there would be massive right they can't it's no too, it's too no. big i know people they like double decker they have like one here one here oh yeah one it's, in the middle and two down here yeah 100 yeah, no yeah. the They're you guys stacked. don't know uh, this is a cr craze that's happened in scandinavia that is absolutely a menace to the welfare of society <laughs> yes there's like stuff coming out of there that is just going to ruin all of us i actually can't find it to order it anywhere i don't think you'll be able to instagram yeah. it okay maybe that's for the better yeah we don't need that it's horrible right yeah that being said, uh, possible hazards associated with this material include malignant and pre-malignant lesions in the oral cavity and the gastrointestinal tract. The use of smokeless tobacco has increased in the Middle East in recent decades, particularly among teenagers and young adults. Therefore, practitioners must be able to recognize malignant and pre-malignant lesions. Are you clear on that? Are, are you, do you know the difference between uh, malignant and pre-malignant uh, lesions, Zach? Uh, yes. Okay, good. My, my grandfather was a gynecologist, so yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Shout out. Although an estimated 10 to 25% of the world's population uses smokeless tobacco, this practice is virtually unknown in Iran. Uh, the aim of the study is to report a series of cases of squamish cell carcinoma and vacuous carcinoma occurring in the users of snus who referred to the Department of Oral Medicine in the Kerman Dental School. This is... Uh, I mean, it doesn't sound great. Oh God, Zach! Are you you you're telling? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you see it, Zach? No. Show Zach. But I've seen pictures. This is what happens you when you do snus. I'm gonna put it on the screen. Ew. That's what happens when you do snus, brother. I think in Sweden, <sighs> it is what it is. In Sweden, the only healthcare that isn't oh. free is uh, tooth healthcare, and I, I kinda, oh really? There might be a correlation between that. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> fuck snus. you guys! I'm not yeah. covering that shit. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what, socialism, socialism isn't the only dangerous export coming out of Scandinavia. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. There's also snus. There, yeah. are, there are products that don't have tobacco. I don't want to say the name, but it, it, it's definitely better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, back to AB. <laughs> yeah, so Just I'm... saying, be careful, <laughs> Zach. I appreciate it. Yeah. Flushing toys down the toilet like my three-year-old <laughs> or, or perhaps toilet paper maybe <laughs> Toilet. Oh, okay, so you to be fair you said toilet paper you did say toilet paper Yeah, I mean I I honestly I didn't think like you, you I didn't think you would go that far <laughs> putting right. a paper towel, but yeah, I thought maybe just too much toilet paper All Right, and I do it. I do acknowledge the the uh, irony of me <laughs> Saying that what are you flushing toys down the thank you. That's all I wanted. Yeah. Yeah, of course Paper? Yeah. Too much toilet paper? Too much? No, see, it, it, oh, I'll tell you. Too much? I'll, he didn't say it. I know, but he tell you, I know, uh, I agree. I don't want to get wrapped. I think he wanted to insult you yeah, by I went, I went, implying that you, you would Olivia. put paper towels He had just accused toilet. me of using too much toilet paper to wipe my monster, shitty, disgusting ass with. Right, but instead what you did was far worse. <laughs> exactly. Okay, but I'm just saying, you know, the, the man, he didn't say it. Just okay, I'll give you that. I'll this give you isn't enough points. to. This isn't enough to convict in a court of law. That's right. This wouldn't be enough. That's right. That's right. I followed um, before it up. the. I've, I, I, a lot of people missed it, but at the end, I ask if you use a catcher or like a, I don't know what I called it. Just listen. Toilet paper has a chance to. Okay, I see. But the, it's wet and soft. Huh. Do you put. Uh, Just like I like my wind protection. <laughs> oh, splash protection. <laughs> did you say? Wait, what did you say? I asked if you put. Uh, splash protection. Ah, he was he was circling the truth too. Yeah, like my splash protection. <laughs> oh, okay, I didn't hear that. Mm. Mm. I wonder why. But hold on, splash protection is is okay with toilet paper. Yeah, yeah. But it would have maybe unlocked. <laughs> we could have, yeah, maybe could have unraveled that a little bit. Well, we'll have to see. I'll keep you guys updated. The next time I need a splash protector in the office, I'll certainly go the toilet paper route, and I'll give you guys all a, a review, which includes. Was there splash and mm -hmm. was there cluggage? Mm -hmm. Do you do this at home? That's what I was just no, about I, to ask. No, but, uh, people were wondering. I have a bidet at home. I don't. I don't even use toilet paper at home for the mo but most. But what of does that. that have to do with the splash protection? Well, it's my toilet. I don't care about the splash protection. Fair. I'll give you. I that. don't want other people's shit and piss splashing on me, bro. He's got a point. It's different. Also, my <laughs> it's toilet. Just that, that By the way, the toilet this toilet water is cleaner than Hold that on. toilet Hold water. On. 
The toilet water at my house is clean. Really? It is fucking clean. It's like double filtered uh, reverse osmosis. Uh, yes, it's wow. you can drink out of that bowl. Are you, the only, way, are you the only one that uses it too? Um, is it your king's throne? Oh, uh, I have a communal one with Ela uh, at the moment. Mm. Mm. But again, her shit is not the same as your shit. Her shit is, yeah. yeah. I, I'm clean. I, I, you, I see your, acclimated. Your, your logic here, and I, I agree with it. Thank you, Zach. Yeah, I will agree with that. And I'll say this, at home, I don't really experience the splashing that much. I don't know if it's just the toilet is different, if it's higher or whatever. Mm. It just doesn't happen. It's not a concern for me. I'm safe at home. Real interesting. Real interesting. I do, I, I want to just clarify for the handful of people that take these things way too seriously and get mad about uh, Ethan disrupting our ability to go to the bathroom. There, there are four other bathrooms <laughs> in this building, so it's not Thank you. actually that big of a deal. It's more just fun. There is. Okay, first of all, guys, if you're getting mad, I literally just clogged the toilet as a... I, 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 didn't, I didn't blow the toilet and be like, fuck these people. It wasn't a lot, it. but I, I, I saw some people maybe taking it just a little bit too seriously. But it is worth mentioning. Thank yeah. you, Dan. Lunch time. Four bathrooms. Is that okay with you guys? There's four more because there's the ones... There's ones next door, yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. There's so. five oh, toilets. There's five. Right, yeah, so... Thank you, Dan. Yeah, lots of options. So many options. Don't panic, I'm not a crazy person. And my goal is to clog every single one of those. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Moving on. Uh, shout out to Ian and Dan, who turns out have really cool karate photos. I don't have anything like this. No? Ian isn't here today. Yeah, he is. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Uh, my mom found some old photos. Eye of the Cobra. Look at this shit. These motherfuckers. Paint. <laughs> They're at the, the, the karate dojo making this shit. That's sick. Yep. Yeah, so Ian posted this and it cracked me up and then it unlocked a memory because I had also done his karate. <laughs> that, is the most, oh, <laughs> really, that is the most karate ass looking coach. Yeah. Ian sensei. Yeah, sensei. What was his name? Like Sensei Jeff? That's Steven Seagal right there. Yeah, dude. that guy's a... <laughs> sensei Jeff. What were you saying, Dan? Oh, just that when I saw Ian post this, I was uh it unlocked a memory because I had also done karate. As a uh, as a young lad, and uh, so I went digging for pictures, and sure enough, I found I found some pure gold. Yeah, here's Dan's post. Uh, again, I'm I'm upset. I don't have any photos like these. <laughs> yeah, look at that, bro, with the eyes in the back. Bro. <laughs> I know, Those baby blues. Are you wearing like a ninja mask, or is it just cool shit? No, I think they just it's yeah it's. Look at those mat. beautiful blues, man. Wow. Cold steel. Cold steel. <laughs> I love that this one's blue and Ian's is red. <laughs> I also have the, the shadow, the uh, Johnny Cage. Animorph. Uh, oh, that too. It does look like an yeah. Animorph thing. I was thinking, is it Johnny Cage in Mortal Kombat? Oh, true. Who has like the true. Oh, yeah, the, shadow uh, attack like that? Cam says you guys need to recreate these. That's a, not a bad idea. I think all of us should. Just do a crop. Maybe during the do holiday. A shoot. For the holiday. Shoot. That's fun. We'll do a karate themed. Fuck oh, yeah. Dude. I like it. I right. like it. That's fun. I like that. Good ideas. This is sick. Firebender. Oh, sick. I know. I mastered I actually mastered all four elements. I actually am an avatar. Mm. What's this move, Dan? That's why you're bald. <laughs> what do you what is this move here? You're channeling. What does uh, this do? I'm summoning those flames. Do you not do you not see the flames in the I'm, uh in the Genu photo? I genuinely, do you remember what the instructions were? No, I, no, I don't. Okay. It probably isn't even, so, it was probably just something the photographer told me to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> it looks cool. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, man. I am summoning the, th the flames, by the way. Oh, they gave you weapons? Yeah. Let's go black belt. Wait, you're wearing a black say, belt? Yeah. I was a black belt. No way, you were a black, do you remember? Do you feel do like... Do you feel more confident if you got in a fight? <laughs> I mean, maybe a little bit. It's been a Just long me. time. I did do it. I, I was in it for years. I, I started when I was like really, really young, as you could see from, I think that blue one, I was probably like eight in that photo or something. Dude, Dude. you were a black belt? I didn't realize we are in the, the presence of greatness. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Thank I did you. Taekwondo for fucking five years, and I never did any photos like this. I was so pissed. I did the karate after school class, and I remember getting um, a rainbow slap bracelet, but not any of these photos. <laughs> well, that's, I remember that's how it started. I did one, the, the after school class, and then I really liked it and 
insisted my parents send me to a real one. Club karate. Yeah. There used to be a guy in the neighborhood that would teach all the kids karate, but my parents never let me go because they thought he would try and molest me. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> you had me concerned right when you started that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Just some dude trying to teach everyone karate. You teach him in their Sensei, in his Sensei Jeff. <laughs> in his garage, yeah. Your parents were right. <laughs> uh, actually, and ironically, AB, my uh, my sensei was uh, was an Arab guy. Oh, I thought. <laughs> no, no. I think going somewhere else. With no, that. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Was he it? was an Arab guy. Do well, you know his name? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Altai was his uh, name. Yeah. That sounds pretty official. Yeah. Was he Was he good? Yeah, he was great. I liked him. Was he good at karate? Uh, in the eyes of an eight-year-old, yeah. Yeah. He was fucking really good, dude. Yeah. He yeah, beat the yeah, fuck yeah. out of me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never did karate. I was not one of the karate folks. Yeah, I used to... I, I did, like, sparring tournaments and stuff. I used to... I used to fight. Really? Yep. Man, I was... I was... shied away from physical violence as a child. It, it's not that it's physical. I was just scared. I didn't want to get hit right. by Right, you're just pussy, yeah. Yeah, basically. I mean, I was a child. <laughs> Um, don't call me a pussy. It was like You're just a coward little child. But I never did the karate, and uh, to this day, I still regret it. The warrior I could have been, should have been. The stripes on the black belt I would have had, my friends, would have. My, um, my studio was very, uh, uh, defensive violence only, you know what I mean? We weren't Cobra Kai, oh. we, we were Mr. Miyagi. Right. Yeah. That's the, the ultimate. The admirable studio. Yeah. Who's this? AB. That's me. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't do karate, but my grandma used to take me to Sears and take pictures of me in my Halloween costume. <laughs> <laughs> and are you a ninja here? I am. Okay, the, so it's kind of like karate. The black uh, Power Ranger. Ninja. Oh, from the movie, of yeah. course. I do recognize How that. old were you at this age? Uh, I think I was maybe three, four. I don't know. The same age as Teddy. So cute. I love you, Avery. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. I bet, I bet you are so cool and nice. I love, you know. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. I'm sure you were a great kid. I was. Yeah. <laughs> Dad? Uh, okay, well, I mean, great, you know. My parents are not very sentimental either. Like I said, they throw shit, everything out. My dad is like an archivist. He saves everything. It's because he loves you. Mine too. Yeah. Probably part of it. <laughs> <laughs> I love Maybe you, part of it. I love you, Mom and Dad. You do throw everything out, though. Just to be real. <laughs> Smash. I've, I've gotten over that, though. I've been through therapy, and I've come to terms. Yeah, no, you seem well, you seem well balanced. Yeah. Uh, come to terms with everything. And you know what's the shame of it? I still love you. I still love you. All right. Also, don't forget the devil gets chills when the nice guy loses his temper. Let's not forget. Well, where's the one of half Dan, half Ian? Because it's blue and red. I need these two got ninjas. Aww. All right. <sighs> sniper Wolf update. This is a Sniper Wolf. The Sniper Wolf meme coming up. Um, it doesn't seem like YouTube is going to acknowledge or do anything about what she's done, which is pretty incredible. They're not going to. Sniper Wolf posted this on her stories yesterday. Look, let's talk like adults and outside. She tagged me oh, outside no. of Oh, no. How'd she know? Well, I know how she knew. Okay, for the record, for the record, I've eaten at Denny's like twice in my life. And I, to my knowledge, I have never farted inside of one either. So when you're like eating your Grand Slam, right? And you got to go take a shit. Mm -hmm. Do you throw the toilet paper at the Denny's? Like, do you clog what? there? Do you clog at the Denny's is my question here. I don't, I have not, I've never shit in the, in, I mean, you, I'll answer your question. If I'm pooping in a public restroom, I'll use the toilet guard for that splash protector. Okay. Oh, yeah. fair. <laughs> That's more reasonable. And those work quite well. Yeah. But you won't, so you, you'll throw like a piece of the ass paper into the toilet first? Sounds like it, right? 
Is that the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, the seat guard. Here's what I do. <laughs> I take the seat cover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I use it like I clean the bowl. I wipe it all down. First, I flush the toilet. Just clear it out. Sure, yeah. Then I take the guard. I wipe it all down. And then I use that mm. as the splash protector. See, the toilet ass guards are tricky because if you got a fucking, like, you got a bomb that's about to come out, dude. That shit can like get all over the paper and then it gets stuck to your ass. Hold on. What? The? What's getting stuck to your ass? The, the the paper, man. Why are you doing such a giant shit mound that it comes all? <laughs> no, it I that the only time I use public restrooms like is like you got an emergency. You but know? those public restroom toilets are pretty big. They're like industrial. I understand that, but the paper can be deadly, bro. How the one you sit on? Yeah, it, it sticks to your body with sweat or what? Or poop? Sweat. Oh. Sometimes poop. Wait, 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 wait. Well, oh, okay. This is pretty wild. How do you get poop on the seat? The splash, that, dude. You wait, know? the poop splashes up on the Sometimes seat. Sometimes it can. Yeah. <laughs> what? what is in going on? In the toilet? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. We need to. Uh, <laughs> we need to oh, deconstruct this claim. Yes. So you put. So, because when I do it, it's not like a huge mound of paper. It's just you just enough to just you know layer, cover the right? top layer. Yeah, they're thin. Okay, and then so it absorbs the water and it lays pretty flat against it. Right. So, so when you sh take a shit on it, I I don't understand how anything's touching your ass. I don't understand I'm, the logistics. I'm talking putting it on the toilet seat, not in the water. Okay. The okay. The protector that goes on the toilet seat. Right. Yeah. So this is what, so, okay. That makes even less I, sense. Exactly. No, I know what you're saying, Zach. Here's what I do. I do a careful trimming around the inner circle to make sure nothing hangs inside. That's very fucking smart. Yeah. That is very smart. There, there's certain ways that you can kind of just yes. work it so that nothing's hanging. You're really doing hanging. that in an emergency? Yeah. Taking the time to craft? It doesn't take that long. On. I'm good at it. You have to. I'm fast. <laughs> like, in an RPG, you're just crafting an item real quick. Bro, I would rather fucking die than put my bare ass on a public toilet. I've I've had to do that at times where it's been so bad. I have too, man. It's <laughs> just the worst. I've never pooped in a public restroom. That is not, like, at the office. You don't poop, like. Ever? He's, he's only 22. Because I... I can go days without pooping. That's right, the thing. So okay. I never. That's what Taco Bell will do to you. Ever no vegetables will do to you. <laughs> what, bro? No vegetables I, does to a motherfucker. For me, it's beneficial. Like I choose when I have to poop. Never, mm. never. You ever decide when he poops on his own time. Every time, I was like, I should poop by now. So hold on, hold on. I'll think when I when I poop last. It's like hold on, two hold days. On. So there's not like a signal your body's sending you. Like it's time. I mean, yeah, I'll I'll feel it for a long time, but I don't have to go. Because usually, it, for me, it's like, you feel it, and then you go. There's no, no contemplating. I, I'll no... feel it, and it's like, I don't have to. I can wait a day. Wait till tomorrow. Why would you what? wait? What? Okay. Why would... It's different. That's what? the beautiful thing. Why it, would you wait, though? It don't bother me. What are you and talking about don't let's bother say, you? Okay, let's say I'm fucking playing a video game. I'm in bed. Like, I don't... What, you're crowning, though. Like, you got the turtle no, sticking Jesus his head out. Christ. No, it's far up. Chilling. No crownage. Nothing. I feel like that's bad, bro. He's got- listen, everyone's different, everyone's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm- I'm- I mean- I mean, you know, I could only be envious of your, uh, reg- your habits and your con the control that you exert over your anus. Quite frankly, I'm scared the veggies will mess it up. <laughs> mess up gonna the break delicate the dance. balance. Yeah. yeah. I we'll feel see. like pooping has gotta be like one of my all-time favorite pastimes, dude. What? Why? Just a good, it's a good thing, man. It feels, you know, it's a good thing. It's an, it's an enjoyable thing to take a nice shit. I mean, okay. I guess. All right. Oh, I'll, 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 that's fine. That you have. It's that more. Opinion. It's more like it just it's removing something uncomfortable more than it's relief. enjoying it. Yeah, I, I guess I get the relief. Yeah, relief. There's something about like, ah, oh, you're proud of it. You well, know? wait okay, till yeah. you wait till you're. Wait till you're a parent, because <laughs> oh. then you close the door. I don't know why, but in our house, all the locks don't work, so they're always barging in on me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, like, dude. Mm, I don't know what happened. <laughs> That's my nightmare. Are you, like, I, can you shit with the door open, or do you have to have, like, privacy? No, I usually I usually shit with the door open. Mm. But sometimes, if they're just coming in there and be, get, being a menace, which is often, then I have to close the door. <laughs> <laughs> and yell at them to get the get the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny.
Ugh. Dude, those boys are wild, man. <laughs> Four and two. One and a half. Oh, well, no, he'll two. be two in February. Yeah, pretty soon. Oh, Bruce, he's talking a lot now. That's mm. cool. He's talking a lot. Chatterbox. What were you saying when you uh, during the sub? A tat. Right, 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 right. It was uh, a tit. What was it? I still don't know what you were saying. We like went over it later, and I was still. Confused, oh, so I was saying like Bruce when he says "daddy," he says "daddy." Uh huh. But you were daddy. like not shouting that. You were shouting. It's. It sounded like that's it. Sit. Yeah, that's what it was. Sit. That's I don't. It. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't think Gay. he says that. <laughs> it's a, Gay. The whole I, thing was very confusing. Yeah, you said that's it. It's a reference right. to Bruce who says "dad, dad" real fast. So Ethan says that's it. Yes. Real fast in response. Okay. From Avery. He, Gay, he, yeah. he does these uh, really <laughs> powerful conject conject conjection or mm. conjectures. Conjectures, yeah. Uh -huh. He just he conjectures out like the whole word. Pretty great. He goes, Dai. My. Gay. Oh, yeah. Contraction. I guess what you're Contraction. For. Yeah. Which is what uh, love has. <laughs> Couple times. This is when he's birthing a poop baby That's after true. three days. That's true. All right. Sorry to everyone uh, eating lunch. Yeah, right. from that, uh, <laughs> coming off of that, we are at uh, 31 minutes. Well, you guys know what it is, uh, what time it is. It's time to talk about our wonderful sponsors. Gamersup is the first one I want to talk about here today. And wow, 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 is this the nectar of God? It's literally invisible. Tastes amazing. Keeps me energized. It supports the show. We have our own flavor, people, Sigma Brain. The, everybody's raving about Sigma Brain. There is a lot of raving going on. People love it. I, of course they do. Mm -hmm. Pull up the reviews again. Let's see how many stars it's got now. This, this has got to be one of their top sellers. I'm sure of it. Look at this. Look at this graphic. Yeah. Go how do you say no to this? You cannot. Wow. And it's a lot less than Alpha Brain, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Alpha Brain is super expensive compared to this. This one's like 25 cents a serving or something, I think they said. Mm -hmm. That's that's a good price. That's a good price. Hard drink. Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, go, uh, guys, just so you know, gamersubs.gg is the uh, address. Use code HSLEEP for 10% off your order. Yeah, so we went through a whole bunch trying to perfect the uh, flavors. We really were in the laboratory here. Giving All it earnestly flavors. our best because, you know, we, we'd like to put out quality. It's just who we are. And we went through quite a few rounds of, of trial and just being like, no, no, no. Throwing the whole thing out, starting over. <laughs> they must have loved us. Well, they do now because we perfected <laughs> one of the best product there is. Let me go to their website. Let's see. But it's a... Uh, it's a... I would say a spicy margarita flavor. And I say that... Just as a concept, it's not spicy. It tickles your tongue. It's a symphony of of ballet on your tongue and not and not in a painful way, in an enticing, friendly mm -hmm. little tingle. It's like a whispering whisk. to you. Come in. Yeah. Relax. Take off your shoes. Sit back. I, I promise if you're sensitive to uh, spicy food, you're gonna be totally fine with this. Totally fine. Um where is the flavor? How do we all different flavors. They have all different flavors. Uh, all go to shop. Flavors. Go on shop. To shop. Gamer subs. I'm gonna go to gamer energy. Sub. Yep. Yep. All right. There it is. There he is. 202 reviews. Oh. It's getting up there. We need more. We need more. We need more people. Eddie Milk has 2,500. Man, there's no way that's as good as Sigma Brain. There's no way. And they just have the advantage of time. Better Guacamole longer. Gamer Fart 9000's got 8,000 reviews. We need to get we need to get there. People just order the ones with the silly names, don't they? Probably. Uh, probably a combination of that and the flavor, but uh, but yeah. I don't know. The Grandpa's Ash. Grandpa's Ash is pretty wild. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, give it a shot. Try it out. Sigma Brain. It's Sigma Brain. Really good. And you want to be a sigma, or it's worse, or or being a beta is worse than death, right? 
So uh, head on over, guys, to one more time for you. Uh, Gamersubs.gg and use the code H3 to get 10% off your order. It's caffeinated, or you can get one without. It's energizing, it's hydrating, it's delicious. There's no sugar in it. Sick, suckle this. Cheers. Yes, sir. And finally, I want to thank uh, one of our greatest sponsors of all time. I truly love them. It's Stamps.com. Yeah. Wow. And there, there's no way to. Yeah. There's no other way to slice it. There is. Stamps.com is just one of those businesses. Man. There's a reason that they serve a million clients. And let me tell you why. One, obviously, convenience. You don't need to travel to the post office anymore. And and I'll just, you know what, you know what that entails. With stamps.com, they send you a digital scale. You put your package on the scale. And then you print out the exact post. Keep it going, guys. I was feeling it. Yeah. You print out the exact postage. Then you put it on the package and that's it. You can put it in your mailbox, you put it on your front door. They come, you schedule the pickup, that's it, you guys. So if you're running a small business, or a big business, I don't know, uh, this is gonna revolutionize if you're not using it. But that's the obvious reason, but here's the non-obvious reason. Nobody else will tell you this, people. Here's, here's I'm gonna blow your mind. You're going to get huge carrier discounts up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. 84%. It's cheaper because I know it. It's hard to believe, but it's true. 84%. And the way they do this, because like I said, they have a million customers. They're able to negotiate these shipping rates down big time. And I know that because now at Teddy Fresh, when we started, uh, fulfilling a certain quantity, you get this opportunity to negotiate down the shipping costs, which I didn't even know that was a thing before, but yeah. The shipping the shipping game is a crazy thing. Those prices are very dynamic. So Old school. You gotta haggle. You do, frankly. And throwing your, your money in with stamps.com is the best way to do it. Uh, I love them, man. All you need is a computer, a printer, and... Um, that's it. I know we always talk about Ali using stamps.com, but she does use stamps.com. It's a fact, people. She loves it. Every time I meet her, she just can't she's always talking to me like, "Hey, she st won't stamps.com app is stop not talking about it." And I'm like, "I know." I says, "Ali, I know. It's isn't it great? Please sit down. Stop talking about it." No, I don't say that. I love No, can't. I do. Yeah, I say we say, "Dan, stop. We're talking about our passion." stamps.com. Yeah. Also, stamps.com automatically tells you which one's the cheapest and fastest option of the available options. Yeah, they've been in business for 25 years. There's a reason that they are indispensable for over a million businesses. I can't say more. I can't say enough. There's no waiting. There's no traffic day or night. Get your business ready for the holiday rush. Get started with stamps.com today. Sign up with the promo code H3 for a special offer that includes a four-week trial, plus free postage, and a free digital scale. There's no long-term commitment or contracts, my friends. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter the code H3. Thank you, thank you to our wonderful sponsors. Please consider uh, supporting them. Thank you. I love that song. Dun, dun, dun. Why is that? It's invoking a memory. That dun, dun, dun. It's, mm. It feels like something Memory of a hurt. song, or is it more that it brings you back to a certain no, time, a certain space, part of your life, long the gone? I answered. I, I answered, Dan. around the edges a little George, your memories. George Benson kid. vibe. I answered, mm. Dan. Mm. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Oh, sorry, what? I said, no, I think I've actually heard it. Oh, okay. It's beautiful. You guys think this title is good? You think people are going to watch for this? Because I was trying to think. 22-year-old 20, 20, tries vegetables for the first time. <laughs> I was thinking game. I was thinking... 
It's not a Love game. He's just vegetables. eating a bunch of vegetables. Just, just change it to V for the first time. <laughs> change what? Change it to V. Love, ver Love versus vegetables? Is that what you're suggesting? You no, 22 year old tries V for the first time. Oh, tries V. Just shorten the. Tries V? <laughs> what does that mean? I Good question. Exactly. You better click and find out. Mm. Tries V? Mm -hmm. oh. oh, I see. It's v. the hot new thing. All the, all the young people are trying it. Don't you want to try some V? I'm going to get fucked up on some V. <laughs> <laughs> Female vaginas are disgusting. Oh, no. Um, okay. So here's what I want to do, first of all. <sighs> um. Go ahead. Just so you know, uh, it is just about time for our guest to call in. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, we should do that. Sam, does it matter if I wait, or is it all being refrigerated? Uh, it's all refrigerated. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. I think she just needs like 10 minutes head up, heads up. Is that right, Sam? Yeah. Great. Okay. So then we'll, we'll be good. I have a question. Um, I'm feeling like Taco Bell now that Love's out here holding that fucking quesadilla up. <laughs> Like a like a ribbon. Does anyone else want to ride with me? I just have to say something. Anybody want to ride with me? I don't know. What every every time we we order that, it it takes so long it's and true. it's cold. Yeah, it's like true. it's fucked. I'm kind of with we you. We shouldn't support them. The office Taco Bell is not good. We shouldn't support them. It takes dude. Last it time takes it too take long. Like two hours. Yeah, it was crazy. Maybe they were having a bad day. It's probably the <laughs> giant order. Uh, go. It's Maybe a very it big order. With, it's with Taco like Bell, dude. Love it. You said it took like an, what hour and a half for you to yeah, get it. Yeah, it did take like forty five <laughs> minutes. That's bullshit, bro. I think Zach's onto something. I think we got a boycott. No, we need to contact them. And talk Do me a favor, them. Sam. Open, open the app. Go to the closest Taco Bell, and then tell me how what it approximates the delivery time to be. Because usually those are pretty accurate. Hmm. Happened. It wasn't last time though. That was the issue. Did it? Stay? But maybe that was just a fluke. See, Taco Bell it didn't say like two hours or whatever it was. That it said. This one says ten minutes. Ten to twenty-five minutes. No way. All right, let's try no it again. Way. That we'll, timing we'll, sounds nice to me. No way. I like the way that sounds. Yeah, I don't lie. Dude, dude, this thing is usually right on, man. Yeah, let's order some Taco let's, Bell. Let's let's try. It. Let's try. <laughs> okay, send orders in Discord. All right. All right. So we're this thing. They say ten to twenty-five minutes. So this takes more than thirty minutes. Then Taco Bell is dead, dead, dead to me. Okay. This is a big moment. They better step up to the plate. They should send us gift cards. And you guys better save room for your vegetables. <laughs> always. Of course. There's always room for veggies, I'm right, love? For that. Yeah. 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 Yes, mom. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm a, I'm a Mexican pizza hater. I don't understand. That shit is gross. Uh, I've never been big on it either. It's so overhyped. You'd think it'd be like... He has well, there's no a, pizza experience. There's a reason it was gone for years. Let's just put it that way. People well, were all excited. It's like, oh, it's back. It's like, it was, maybe it was gone for a reason. I've had over four True. Years I don't know if I'm days. misremembering, but I remember it being a lot better than it's been recently. I, I think you were just it. probably seven. Um, I, <laughs> you know? Not a seven, but it was possible I was just high every time I had it. Uh, or that, yeah. right. Yeah. That'll help. That'll, That'll help. help a lot. That'll help. Pizza's actually very nutritious. <laughs> but I remember <clears throat> one of my great food memories is when Chipotle first came out, I think I was in high school, a junior or senior. That was a big moment. It was, and so we used to get high mm -hmm. and go to Chipotle, and it was, and I would get the hard tacos with like the spicy sauce and all the shit that I, and it was like, whoa, dude, it was mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What happened? It's a, you know, typical startup <gasps> business venture. They pump. The business, full of cash early on, get you that quality burrito, they get you hooked. It's really no different than a, uh, than a drug dealer, in a way. Mm. You know what I mean? They give you that good H the first time. Yep. And then... Then they start cut. cutting it with stuff. And yeah. starts making his way in, you know. You are not wrong, dude. Yep. Do you guys remember back in the days when Taco Bell used to be sheep? Uh, yeah, I do remember that, and I miss those days. Taco Bell used to be what now? Cheap. You know, like last year? Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember. And then once again. Before Bidenomics. Not, yeah. not to be like old, uh, old brain, but dude, I remember when tacos were, thir they were like 39 cents when I was a kid, bro. Mm -hmm. You sound 105. <laughs> dude, I pay $4. I'm being real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what it is. The one that always gets me is the quesadilla. You know they sell a cheese quesadilla at Taco Bell now for like $5.50. It's like absurd. That's actually seven dollars. Right. 
after uh, after everything. no before tax i'm looking at it right now it's 750 that's for, the chicken oh, oh yeah the that's cheese. the chicken one just the cheese but even just a, it just think it's a tortilla with some melted cheese in it but at the same time also like you also need to think like selling a taco for 30 cents also doesn't make sense like something's not adding up in the food chain there <laughs> yeah sounds like magic Sounds like magic. It too. does. It doesn't make. It's like something is something wrong is happening in this, in <laughs> in this the supply, supply chain. chain. Yeah. yeah. So in in a sense, I'm almost relieved that it's, and I and I hate to say that. Maybe that's not right to say, but I'm telling you, there's something. There's just something really wrong about buying a thirty nine a ninety nine cent cheeseburger. How does in what world does that make sense? That's a cow died. A nightmare. People harvested wheat. Wait, do people still? You're not talking about now. You can't get a cheeseburger I for think 99 they cents do now. That times that promotion. What? The, the dollar Mix, menu, my dude? McSkids. Oh, the do- yeah. oh McSkids. Yeah. So listen to Yeah, okay, yeah. Somebody harvests wheat, turns it into flour, mm-hmm. bakes that into a bun. Mm-hmm. Cows are slaughtered. Right. They are processed into ground beef. Sent to McDonald's. All of this stuff is sent on massive, expensive trucks with drivers, huge gas bills. They're sent all around the country to McDonald's. You've got lettuce, tomato, cheese. These are all coming on massive trucks, picked, produced somewhere. These, all these ingredients come together in a Taco Bell or in a McDonald's, wrapped in plastic, handed to you by somebody. These people are all being paid, all cause, and and then it's ninety nine cents. It doesn't make sense. Mm. Talk about sense. Doesn't make that any sense. sense. Do you guys know what I mean? But anyway, God bless it. <laughs> God bless it. <laughs> we we love our cheap burgers, don't we? We folks? We, we do. We love our cheap uh, food, folks. It doesn't mm. get any better. Got me through college. Amen, brother. Oh man, I used to hit talk about all the time in college. There was one in Santa Cruz, right on like the main strip. It was so seedy and gross, but we used to hit that place. Fuck. I'll never forget. I was I was super broke and I bought two of like the 99 McNuggets and one was for dinner and the next one was for breakfast the next day. And I saved it, I put it in the fridge and I woke up the next day, my roommate ate it and put a dollar inside the box. And it was the most audacious thing I've ever seen in my that's life. That's brutal. Dude, that's uh, bu- just to go back to what you said. Those are hard times, my friend. One taco in the night and one taco in the morning? Yeah. That's not enough food. Yeah, when I, I moved out when I was like 18, I was I was still really young, so I don't know. I my room was actually a closet. <laughs> Am I? Uh, I lived in a closet actually yeah. when I was in college. I did that. Hell I lived yeah. in a closet. It was an attic closet. It was really a weird spot for me. Uh, but surprisingly, it didn't really care that much. I was playing World of Warcraft, and uh, hell yeah, you don't need a lot of space for that. You don't, frankly. You yeah. don't. It was a sad sight. I would sit there with a laptop on my stomach, <laughs> on my side, and I would just lay there with Taco Bell. I think I had a job, but maybe like three times a week or something. That was so sick. I loved playing WoW when I was a kid. Did you guys have trouble finding a job when you were in college? Because I don't know what it's like, but in Santa Cruz, it was so fucking hard to get employment because there's so many college kids and just mm. not enough business there. I was a part of the work study program at school, so they just they just pass them out like free candy. Hmm. Oh, work a study. Lot, yeah. Oh, they didn't even pay you. No, they do, but it was just like a token amount. Exactly. Yeah. A nightmare. A nightmare. All right, here's what I want. I also want to add a combo here. Ooh. I'm just delaying because I because I'm still working on my order. I want the burrito supreme combo, and I want it. I need it, actually. Mm-hmm. You need a- what I need, need a- well, they have a lot of drink options. That's always been a nice thing about Taco Bell. They have crazy good drink options. They do. Right, it's the biggest drink of the, of the year. <laughs> yeah. Um, they have Pepsi Zero. Do they have a root beer zero? Because that's what I could fuck with right now. Wait, they have Pepsi Zero there? I yeah. still haven't tried that. What? They have Baja Blast Zero as well. I well, it's yeah. not as good. It's, it's not, not as good. good. Uh, they I, don't have Baja Blast Zero as an option for this location. Wait, I see it. No, 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 no. Don't say that. I see it. <laughs> I see it, Sam. That's right. 
That it's, hold on, it's just right. not true. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you see it? You're oh. probably looking at different stores. No, 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 no. We're looking at the same one. Or you? Hold on, Sam. Don't. On. I'm not going to say the address. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to say the address. <laughs> but I'm going to send it on WhatsApp, and you tell me if this is the one you're looking at. Because it says 10 to 25 minutes. Yo. That's the one I was looking at. I'm going to have a Mountain Dew by a Blast Freezy. Yo, Sam. Jeez. I yeah, love a bottle. I'm, I'm looking at the same one, but they... Bro, okay, so go to go to beverages. Okay. Okay, hold on. Where's the damn beverages now? Dude, this is like dessert for me. I just had Taco Bell, and now I get Taco Bell dessert. <laughs> I love it. I also saw you eat a giant bowl of something before your Taco Bell even got here. What did you eat before Taco Bell? Uh, some kefir with cookies in it. <laughs> Jeez, man, I miss <laughs> being that. I Real quick, miss. Ethan, as part of your combo, do you want the crunchy taco supreme? Yes, please. Got it. So no uh, cookies for you? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. miss being like that, man. Love, it was so nice just being yeah. able to do it. <laughs> I'm in the drink section. I Wait, not now see... I can't find the drinks. Where the fuck the drinks go? Maybe they the just sold out. It's, they do not have. Bob they do. Bob they do. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, here's what you need to do. Listen. <laughs> And listen carefully. <laughs> listen carefully to these instructions that I'm about to hey, tell listen, you. Dude. <laughs> okay. This looks different. I don't know why. I'm listening, Ian. <laughs> we have we have a um a guest waiting on standby. Oh shit. Here, just give me the Mountain Dew Zero then. <laughs> okay, got it. Thank you. Alright, so Whoa! Out of the Taco Bell vortex. <laughs> So we have today a really exciting segment planned. Is this on V? Is this something you're going to launch? Yeah, on? yeah, I have it uh, on my end so, here. So Infobrand is a friend of the show. He is a maniac on TikTok. He wears spy glasses. And I don't know if I want to say harasses people in like uh, grocery stores and stuff, but I also wouldn't say that that's not a necessarily an incorrect you're playing pretty fast and loose with these harassment allegations it's like calling your representatives I mean, that's like call, yeah, yeah he's you know what he's doing he's voicing his political opinion mm -hmm. i heard true. i heard someone use the term hariz maybe he's yeah he's harizing them <laughs> harizing them <laughs> i like that i like that um we've watched a few let me just show you what you guys are getting yourselves into but he called into the show and he was great everybody loved him so we basically Heard he was going to be in L.A., so we had the pleasure of uh, sending him out to, we, we found a kind of an event that was happening, a bicycle rally here in Los Angeles. Ciclavia. <laughs> Ciclavia? Ciclavia. Ciclavia. He keeps saying it. Uh, a, oh, he says a, it. Ciclavia. Yeah. Ciclavia. Right, I, that's what he keeps the, saying. And I haven't seen this yet, but well, I've heard. Saw, I've been hearing about it. I got to say, I cut this down to like less than five minutes, but he sent so much gold. I almost want to like, can I make like a longer version? Director's for the, cut? For the you, we can do a something? super long one for a highlights yeah, channel. Definitely. Yeah. That'd be awesome. You could just throw it all up there. and. I also just want to say this <laughs> comes from his brain. His idea of what what is up in this sketch in this bit, something you and I can't think of, but only he can think of. He has a beautiful mind. Yes, and basically, we commissioned him. We said, "Friend, we want to support you. We want you to be on the show. Go out there and just do whatever it is you do, and then report back to us." Mm -hmm. So that's what we have. I'm going to show you one of his videos Hola. just to catch you up. <laughs> Yo quiero la cerveza. <laughs> uh, he is out, out, out of control. <laughs> Yo necesito una mujer. <laughs> and it, it's important to remember that he's wearing uh, spy glasses, so nobody even knows he's recording. Uh huh. Yeah. Tercera grande. Uh huh. They're scared. I'm sure of it. Uh huh. <laughs> this crazy white guy. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so uncomfortable. Uh, mi nombre es Bread. You too? Uh? Alonso. Ah. Alexis. Ah. Ah. Oh my God. Ah. You feel, you feel bad. You do mucho feel bad. Mucho gusto. Huh? Ah, mucho gusto. <laughs> 
Uh, yo hablo espanol. Poquito. Uh huh. Yeah. Duolingo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yo como manzanas. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Do you come manzanas? Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he does know a little Spanish. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he answers the phone this yo way. Yo bebo uh, eye boogers. Uh -huh. uh, see? <laughs> Hi, boogers. Two bebes? No, no, no. This is the weirdest thing that's ever happened to these guys. They're going to talk about this forever. In a sense, it's a beautiful bonding experience that he's put these friends through. That they have this cherished memory. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Falda Azul. They're so nice and so patient, by the way. See. <laughs> Buenos dias. Okay, amigo. He just doesn't leave. <laughs> Dolphin dive high oh, five. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, he's getting dabbed up by everyone. Adios. So the top comment, he said, bro, man, I'm so uncomfortable they forgot beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Which is no. so damn true. I think they just they <laughs> wanted to get away. That is so <laughs> funny. A they fucking hilarious observation. Oh, hey, manzanas. Oh. Uh -huh. So, so anyway, just to give you a little example, there's endless amounts of these. So, without further ado, this is Infobrand at the Los Angeles uh, bicycling <laughs> bonanza. Hey, folks, it's Brad. Yesterday, these streets were filled with bikes, and today, they aren't. I took to the streets myself on a bicycle with a couple buckets of sardine paste for the riders. Let's have a look at what I saw through my hidden camera glasses. Dolphin Dive High Five. <laughs> I am not a threat. I just want to chat for a bit. How you doing? I just want to ask you some questions about the event. Is this all right? Sure. Okay, what's going on here? Uh, so they're doing Ciclovia. It freely bicycle run. Okay. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. I see a lot of bitchin' kneecaps bouncing up and down. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> I love it. Lots of good looking folks. Through where no one's been before, but it feels like home. Oh boy. <laughs> You're catching up to me. I'm letting you get ahead. So I'm going to whoop all your asses in this one. You're wondering what this is? What is it? Ice cream? No, it's a fish paste. Oh. A medley of sorts. Ah, uh, interesting. For the riders. Okay. It's for them to dunk their heads into. Okay. Do you want to dunk your head in it? It's good for the scalp, it's good for the decaps. Ah, beautiful people out here at the uh, Napoleon. What are you doing? I got clams, sardines, anchovies, a little bit of tuna, and you caught some pink salmon, pink fish paste. Careful, careful about the buckets. Careful about the buckets. Careful about the buckets. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Fuck. No, 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 no. Just leave it, man. Just leave it, bro. The sardine paste. Out of the bucket. Huh? Uh huh. Hello. Hi. Look at you. you what? Huh? Go, bud. You'll be all right. You'll be real cool. Come back. Do it. Come back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, get the back of the head in there. Come on. Come on. You got it. You got it. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you, buddy. Hey. Hey. No, it's okay. You got it. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> and that's what this is all about. It's the Clavia. Yeah. You got a burrito in your pocket? Come on now, what are you? 
the hell are you doing? That's not a fucking bike, bro. Jesus Christ. I'm fucking pissed off. Come on. Yes, one of those folks did drive down a one-way street, go all the way down the street, ain't seeing nothing. And I'll tell you what, I bet they've never dunked their head in sardine paste a day in their life, buddy. <laughs> Let them kill somebody. Bye there. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Can I talk to you about your banana suit? Hey, why are you riding today? I'm not riding. I'm walking. Oh. Bicycle Pete with the tight, fickle feet. Look at those puppies. Oh, yeah. All my goodie, dude. <laughs> you want to pop a shoe off for me? No, I'm good, bro. All right. I'm cool. Good. Dolphin Dive High Five. Have you? <laughs> Hi. Wow. Hello. Look, it smiles all the way. All righty. Give these a whiff, huh? from a good time right there, let me tell ya. <laughs> hey there, bicycle, I spy a nice pickle. <laughs> how, hey, how, how many MPS does this baby get? MPS. MPS, meters per spin? Eight. You would say so, huh? Isn't that right, and you look parched. You want some, uh, huh? A little bit of dolphin milk here? <laughs> dolphin? Yeah, it's milked dolphin on purpose. Oh, Come on. Got enough of your punishment. <laughs> Nice talking to you. I'm gonna move on. I close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own. Through the dark, through the doors, through where no one's been before. But it feels like home. Oh boy. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Well, it's every bit as wild as I anticipated. Cam, you should just just upload it all on the Cliff channel because I'll watch all of it. Uh, sure. I'll have to like cut around stuff. With you know it. what I mean? Like, click, you know. <laughs> yeah. With, with within reason. I mean, there's just like dead air and stuff too. That'll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Up. So joining us now, I believe he should be on the phone with us is Infra Bren himself. <laughs> Saturdays are for the boys. Hello, Infra Bren. How are you? Kiss me in the moon bite. You look like fishy kind of stews, right? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, so how was the bicycle event? You seem to really fit in there. Uh, it was fantastic, man. I really got a kick out of going to that thing, huh? Yeah. And, and I was happy to see that people were quite receptive to the fish paste. I think you refreshed a lot of people out there. Well, fish paste is actually good for the scalp. It's also good for the kneecaps and it increases your uh, NPSs, which is meters per spin. Right. So it helps you get along a little faster, Ethan. That's the thing. It's so what you're putting the, you're putting the, it in your wheels or something? How does it increase? No, you put it on your head. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, um, yeah, I, 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 what did you think of the edit? Do you think we, we accurately captured the day or? Who edited that? That was actually, that was really good. That was, uh, it. that was Cam, of course. Yeah. Good Cam job, Cam. Job. Yeah, Cam did a great job. He did. Great job, Cam. That Thank was you. amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, um, I think it was a hit. Um, I just, I absolutely adore the, the, uh, scooping of the, the fish paste. Uh, whatever happened with the fish paste? Did we get it all up off the the street? Uh, I believe we probably salvaged about sixty nine percent of it off the street. That was devastating. That fall, by the way. Yeah, yeah it looked bad. It felt bad because it's not just any ordinary sardine paste. That is three years aged. Okay, mm. so I had that sitting in the trunk of a Honda Accord for three hot summers. Wow. And seeing that happen definitely. Uh, it definitely induced some heart palpitations. Right. Um, a minor existential crisis. Right. So to speak. Right. I you hate know? when that happens. Yeah. But the no, good news. Terrible. The good news, at least, is that if you're crashing and hurting your knees, the fish paste is right there. Mm hmm In a sense, that that's good. I gotta take my medication. Go Ethan, ahead. Sorry. No, I understand. Take your time. Uh, Bren is, he has a, some kind of vial that he's slamming against his hand. Oh, just, wait, what is that? Ew, what is that, bro? Sardines. What mm -hmm. the fuck? Yeah. You just eat it like that, huh? 
I can't believe they're selling their shit in aspirin bottles now. That doesn't That's make crazy. any sense. Yeah, that doesn't no. make sense. No, it doesn't make sense. I can't believe you bought it in an aspirin bottle. I did actually buy it in an uh, aspirin bottle, Ethan. Yeah, no, that's what you said. I heard. I, it's really unbelievable. Um, how do you feel? Do you think we could send Brent to Fist Fest? I mean, that's my dream. <laughs> that would be God. fucking amazing, bro. <laughs> that's kind of the ultimate goal for all this. What's going on with the pickle guy? Is this someone you know? Is this an organization you're involved with? This guy right here? Yeah. That's Kenneth. You know Kenneth? Uh, no, I don't. You know. Oh, Kenneth's a legend. He loves pickles. He also loves eating booty. Matter of fact, Pickled Sphincter was inspired by this guy. I made it for him. Oh, that that flavor. Yeah, based off these two things that he enjoys. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that's a really nice backstory. Yeah, no, he's an amazing guy. <laughs> so, just to go back to the bicycle rally, I mean, did you enjoy your time in Los Angeles? Did you um, did you? meet lots of nice people out there overall what was your impression of the beautiful city of los angeles and the bicycle event very different from washington state a little too hot for me i'll tell you this um special shout out to blake rosier for putting me up on his air mattress during the weekend amazing guy you shout might in the video he dunked his head in some of the sorry that was him yeah. Oh, shout out to Blake. Yeah, <laughs> terrific guy. I tried to make terrific. it seem like I he actually, was yeah. And and so if you're staying at his house, then you probably know how did that wash out? It dried up in his scalp pretty bad. Oh god. <laughs> pretty bad. He was in the shower for at least two hours. <laughs> that doesn't... probably one hour was you know, uh washing the sardine paste out his scalp. But I'm guessing the second hour was masturbation. Um right. Because you don't need two right. hours. Yeah. Just of course. Go. Yeah. Yeah, so um so shout out to Blake, very much so. Um we love Dolphin Blake. Dive High Five. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right there. <laughs> high five, brother. Right there. <laughs> well, uh it's been a pleasure. It's been a joy. I hope you're you'd like to do more events. The next Fist Fest is April twenty fifth to April twenty seventh. Uh does that have something to do with fists? Or? Oh, I think we talked about it before, and you said you might be uncomfortable with it. It's it's a. Uh, I did. Well, let me tell you. I think so. Maybe it was someone else. Uh, a friend of the show, Hunger FF, is one of the main attendees there, which is actually would be really good because we'd have a really good. Mm, we have an in. We could host. get. We could get mm -hmm. backstage passes. Oh, he's like the king. He, he would be the best walkthrough, mm -hmm. and um, it's an event where. A bunch of men who uh, who enjoy the the practice, the art, I would even say, of fisting. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. And they just and it's just a lot of that essentially. And it's I, a, I love a fisting. Whole festival. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, it's a it's whole festival. And, and it's a it's a very it's a very you know tight knit community as I understand it. But they're very <laughs> they are very serious professionals, and he he is quite good at what he does. Okay, yeah, uh, uh, TNC, as Kenneth would say. Huh? TNC. Tight knit community. Tight knit community. Oh, right. you, wow, you know about those ones, huh? Oh, yeah. So, you, Dude, so, so um, one of the pieces of footage, and I don't know what happened to it. My fault, not, your, not the editor's fault, but I did this bit while I was out there, too, where I was pouring the sardine paste into little Dixie cups, and I was standing on the sidelines. Oh, no. And as the writers were like going by, I'd be like, hey, come on. Good job, folks. And they just take it because they think it's water or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and they're, they'd be riding off and, like, you know, put it to list. What the fuck is this? You know? Wait, I don't think I got that footage. No, no. I, I don't know what happened to it. At some point, uh, my glasses died or something. Oh, but, oh man. But it was that in sounds there. Pretty, it that sounds pretty hectic, though. Did anyone drink it? I don't know. They were riding off, and it yeah. looks like a couple people like almost did. <laughs> right. And they're like, "What the hell is did it, this?" Did, did 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 any confrontation take place out there on the street? Was there anyone who got upset, or is everyone just kind of too awkward and scared, in a sense, to confront you? Uh, most people were just too uh, awkward and scared to confront me. I didn't really have any situation go on yeah. down there. Uh, um, yeah, I, I find that typically most people just. I got I got a friendly face, you know. So most Absolutely. people just kind of 
go, this guy's mentally ill probably, but uh, <laughs> he's not like, he's nice. a threat, I don't he's, think. He's, right, he's not threatening. Yeah. That, that's important. I'll tell, let me read you some about Fist Fest. On the, this is from the website. It says, what can you expect? Hot men, hot hands, hot holes, and lots of them. <laughs> that's the description from the website. <laughs> okay, go on. It's a Continue. weekend event. The infamous afternoon pool party. It's got an open bar, slings, benches, play, supplies, rock and music. And then at night, they've got the hell hole. At the edge of hell party, you don't want to <laughs> miss. As in a hole. Yeah. Probably yeah, a play on words. A body hole. Yeah. Yeah. Night, dusk to dawn pool party. Uh, and they say the, f <laughs> the full moon weekend, but they say FF, like fist fucking. Mm -hmm. How late, and they said they ask how late can you stand up? Fist Fest partners with the Handball Academy, which provides educational opportunities throughout the weekend. <laughs> well, oh, well, that's so good because, like, I feel like this is going to be educational and a really valuable insight into this kind of mm. niche of these really these professionals. And so, I feel that that is important uh, to report on. So surprises and giveaways, so pay attention. Our cocktail party, including. Hosted heavy appetizers, and of course, there's the pig pen, of course. which they do not elaborate on. Okay, I know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'll elaborate when I do it. You'll see. Uh -huh. Fantastic. I mean, golly. <laughs> Gee whiz, man. We got to get you out there. Okay, great. So we'll, if you're interested, we can start uh, doing prep and getting tickets and talking, to, seeing if hunger is down to kind of host host you're if that's something you're interested in 100 percent, 100 100 oh, fantastic wow that's exciting to me that's exciting Amen. well thanks for um you know thanks for working with us uh really really nice yeah, it was a pleasure thank you so much for having me back on love seeing you folks <laughs> yeah nice you to see you really nice good to hear at what from you do ethan you had the silkiest little eyelashes Okay. S L E L's, as Kenneth would say. Remember this? Uh, I used to pluck those puppies off one at a time, make a wish, and blow them out. Remember Mine? Or <laughs> yeah. Mm, I don't remember <laughs> that. I don't recall that. All right. Well, you know, shit happens. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. I don't. I don't remember that happening. You don't remember it happening, but it happened. Okay. It didn't. To be clear no. to everyone watching, it's crystal it clear. It sure did. Uh, here's another excerpt. So this is actually good that we're friends with Hunger. It says, we are a private event, not open to the general public. You'll need to get on our newsletter email list the way that you can keep abreast of all the announcements leading up to the event. So we got to, let's reach out to Hunger and see if he can get us press pass. You got it. That's exciting. I'm very excited for, for our future collaborations. I'm very excited in general. You know, everything you do excites me. Mm -hmm. Everything Zach does excites me. Dan, Dan, did you get my cameo? <laughs> remember the cameo? I did. Yes, I, I do. I do remember the cameo. What'd you think? Yeah, I was <laughs> a, little, a little scared. Is this a real thing? Well, Wait, what do you yeah. mean? Okay. Yeah, I, I did a cameo for him. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why you, I don't know how you found out like all my extended family members address. But... <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. Come on. <laughs> I won't share that information. My okay. secrets are secret. All right, yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, Info, Bren, one last question before we go. Your thoughts on Israel versus uh, Gaza? All right, Bren, we got to go. Thank you so much. Bye bye. What does that say? This, this is vocal lube. Do you want to see what it does? Yeah, I'd love to. All right, check this out. You know our love was meant to be The kind of love that lasts forever And I want you to All right, here thank you to Info Bren, everybody. Nice to hear from you, nice to see you. Tonight uh, he is he is great. Time. Go ahead, Dan. You <laughs> should know. Thank you. Thank you, Bren. Thank you, thank you. Nice to hear from him. And he and there he is. This is wow. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Wow. Marvelous. I am genuinely someone said someone's gonna kill him. That was my that's my fear in a sense too, but 
uh, I don't, I don't take on that responsibility. Nah. No, 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 no. That won't happen. Um, they might. So here's the thing. I think that this fist fest thing, if we can coordinate with, with hunger, could really be, uh, really something special. All right, we'll see what hunger, we'll see what hunger says. I don't know. I mean, I know he loves us, but. You don't think he'll get him in? I just I don't know. Will. Okay, I mean, Zach, you know him well. So. I'll, I'll give him a, a shout later. And we'll, it just uh, seems like this is a very um, sacred thing to that community. You know what mm. I mean? What about it? Told you that it was sacred. The uh, uh, that message, the hellhole, <laughs> it pig pen. It seems pretty sacred. I mean, they even have uh, a program for it says our brothers in recovery, where during the day they have someone meet with them for meetings to help them get through uh, recovery. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think you're right in this sense, Dan, but I also think these guys have a really good sense of humor. I mean, you've seen. They said hot men, hat hands, hat hole, hot holes, and lots of them. I mean, these, these guys, they're, they're good sports. They have a good sense okay. of humor about All it. All right. Yeah. Surely. And I, genuinely, I'm not there to ridicule. Uh, we're there on a fact-finding mission uh, mm -hmm. of education. There it is. Thank you, everybody. Are we? I hear, smell the food heating up, Sam. Is that what's happening? Is it time? Is the Taco Bell here? No, it's. I think it's been ten minutes. So the good, the you saved a chill, uh, a uh, Doritos Crunch Taco, right? I did. I have yeah. a little bit of a power cleanser. So, here. <laughs> so what we prepared for love, so he doesn't get overwhelmed. You know when people they experiment with uh, delicate or extreme flavors, it's frequent to have a palate cleanser sometimes it's a liqueur sometimes it's a piece of ginger in this case uh love will be taking a bite of the dorito shell crunchy taco and you gotta take the wrapper off this time love in between each course just to clean his palate and to reset so as mm -hmm. we actually i'm gonna go to the bathroom real fast as we set up for this so i'll be right back and we will continue with 22 year old tries vegetables for the first time what? Wow. Wow. Ian, what do you think about uh, this whole vegetable argument? Mm -hmm. You know, after uh, mm. Infra says uh, Fizz Fest, maybe go to Mecca next. Just have him send, send him to Mecca? <laughs> yeah. The other to side do the of the spectrum. The Hajj? Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, that's a good idea. We should definitely do that. <laughs> um, there's a $100 donation that I wanted to get to from a FUPA trooper by the name of Emerald. However, I gotta say, I don't know what it means. It says, can't type message, sent message, Zach Cameo. <laughs> She's been sending messages like that all day. I don't really know what it means. Um, we see your message. We appreciate the donation. Uh, we love you. Cheers, my dude. Um, I just, I got a message. Or are they telling you to check your cameo? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. All right, all right. Uh, There's Zachy. There's Zachy. Uh, Ian, why do you keep switching to the wrong thing? What are you doing, dude? <laughs> it's actually from two different people. There's one from a person named Amy and one from Emily. Hmm. Uh, well, their name is Emerald, but that's just their YouTube name. So uh... Uh, it won't let me send a hundred dollars super chat, no matter what I do. Anyway, I'm a rock hound. I've mined Jade in California. Uh, be more than happy to bring my rock saw and raw jade to LA. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> okay. So we can cut open jade, and Wait. then they have a TikTok. Um, if I if I can shout that out, okay. It's called I Dig Crystals. I Dig Crystal. I mean, their name is Emerald. They dig crystals. They have raw jade. Sounds this legit. Sounds like they're jade head to me. Yeah. Credentials are stacked. <laughs> Straight up jade head. Yeah. So shout out to uh, Emily and uh, Amy. Shout out. Thank you for the uh, super chat. Ooh. Apparently your uh, super chat did go through, so I hope you didn't not intend to give us a hundred dollars. <laughs> Accidentally did that. Uh, somebody just donated ten Australian dollars. Said, "Yo, Ethan, I'm also on a weight loss journey, and I've already lost thirty pounds. Can I get a shout out?" Well, Ethan isn't here at the moment. You might be clogging up the toilet, Cheers, my dude. but uh, congrats on that. That's that's incredible. Three pounds is significant. Oh, this person has a huge following on uh, on TikTok. 
emerald here. Yeah, one point five million. Okay. Well, maybe we can maybe we can get together and cut open some rocks. That'd be wicked, bro. bro. How fucking cool would that be? That sounds like so much fun. Field trip. Field trip. Field Field trip. trip. Right. We found out that um, there's jade in them in their hills here in California. (laughs) We got jade here in California. We just found out. Uh, I think it actually might have been the same person. The same emerald person was saying it in the chat before the show today. So. Emerald Logasi, bam! Emerald, bam. bam! Bam! Whatever happened to Emerald? Dude, he's a uh, he's, he's still, on TikTok. He died. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. No, oh, he's still he's chat? still fucking, dude. You know, Emerald's still fucking, dude. Yeah. Um, check it out, Ethan. This is big news. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, wait a minute. Is it this one? Which one is it? There it is. There he is. Gently. Whoa. Wait, hold on. Gently sourced jade. California, dude. There's jade here. Farm to table. So hold on. Is this like, what kind of class of jade are we talking? Is this jadeite? It's, uh, it's not lo- jadeite. Um, although there may be some jadeite. I saw that it was mostly um, uh, whatever the other one was. Uh, uh-huh. Here you go. Nephrite. Ne- nephrite is actually. Oh, they do say jadeite too. No, nephrite is actually the preferred one. That's the nicer oh, really? one. Oh, I thought I jadeite thought was... was the hmm. more expensive one. It's actually one. not. Nephrite is uh, the classic kind of. Oh, well, I will. Chinese jade that you see happily in, defer in, to your expertise yeah, sir. Mm-hmm. they're both valued they're both highly valued well you know what I'm excited to learn about it on our field trip I'd really we love to do like Dan you'll appreciate like a California gold segment like someone dress up like Huel Hauser. <laughs> yeah you know yeah. that'd be so like we well, all dress up like Huel Hauser. did you ever go on a field trip uh <laughs> if you grew up in Cali did they ever take you to like on a gold field trip yeah we went to Sacramento yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So fun. We had like the gold. little fake pans. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Wait, fake. Nice. Uh, Sam, how yeah, much longer do you need? I'm just wondering if I should do a little segment here or wait for, or if we're ready to go. Oh, let's ready do it. to so start. Let's ready. go. So then. Is out. This is very exciting, folks. Love. He doesn't eat vegetables. He refuses. They're not good, he says. Why don't you like vegetables, love? I don't know. People have been speculating a lot. Uh, I, I did grow up being encouraged to eat vegetables. My mom loves vegetables. My dad does not like vegetables. A li- he likes a little bit more stuff than me, so I think it's most of my dad's fault. <laughs> mm. uh, but also, like, I, I get a physical response. Like, I mentally cannot eat a lot of things. It makes you feel nauseous. No, I wouldn't say not, but like, just my whole existence goes against eating certain things. What is I, it you feel when you put a vegetable in your mouth? Um, usually it's not the taste that's the issue, it's the, uh, the consistency usually. The texture. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm very this. scared of the mushroom that's on here. The mushroom? That is... Mushroom? Mushrooms good. Mushrooms are weird, I agree. It took me a while to get to eat mushrooms. They're weird. It's like fungus. It's not even a plant. It's like a whole different life form. But I I like to try new things. So I I, I always try something before I say I don't like it, just so people know I don't just... Thank you. Okay. I'm going to eat along with you. Thank you so much. This looks phenomenal. We need to get a shot of this. This is amazing. So where's where where can we get a good shot of this? Uh, Here, AB. You come grab So I want to... Also, before we start, I want... Um, Sam's guess about which yeah, ones you're gonna like, if any. Input. Now this is asparagus. Have you tried asparagus before? Uh, yes. Actually, the first time I tried it was at your house. Uh, I think you're... Oh, your the own... barbecue. Yeah. Did you eat it? Yeah, so your mom put it on my, my plate. And, oh. uh, and uh, since I was like, I didn't cook the food, I'm at someone else's house, I ate it, and I was like, you know what? This is not bad. It's been grilled with like steak juice and all that. So I was let, like, mm, pretty good. It's let me ask right. you this: yeah. Did you eat a whole one? I. How much I, did you eat? Like a couple bites. A couple bites and of I, one of one. Yeah, but I would wouldn't eat it again. But here we are. Here so, we are. But this looks great, Sam. Uh, real quick before we start, I wanted to get your predictions on which dishes love. You think we'll like here? What are your What are your favorites? Oh, you're muted. Uh, sorry. I think that Love is really gonna like the candied yams. That's Ooh. the last one. And I Yum. think you might like the stuffed mushroom. Oh, sure. Stuffed mushrooms are good. I'm feeling confident about this bacon wrapped asparagus. So, have we got a good shot of it? Are sorry, I'm. Uh, you can kind of see I'm it here. Trying to get my uh, little remote camera set up. You 
love real quick. Yeah. Okay, here. Second. Look at that, man. Sam, that is gorgeous. Sheesh. Don't you have a camera handheld, maybe? Yeah, it's uh, having an issue. Oh, it is? Okay. I'm trying there to fix it. There you go. That's, that's, that's fair. All right, love, let's go ahead and go in for the bite. That's a 10. All right, let's go. Do I eat the shelk or do I eat the tree or the uh, the, top? It's, it's the all it's all it's all the equally edible. Top part. Wait, every, okay. No, the fluffy top part's where you eat from. I don't eat the the bottom of asparagus. Oh, it's fine. It's too chewy. It's like it does edible. get a little bit more chewy, but it's, it's still good. totally edible. It's too. Sometimes it's inedible. I can't fuck with it. After you eat asparagus, mm. love your urine smells uh, interesting. I've heard. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> like this. Look at this shit. Like, yeah. I don't think the other Look one. Look at that. this. Show me. Hello. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's green. Yeah, that. So listen. This is bacon covered vegetable. It tastes like I'd bacon. I'd rather eat the bacon alone, solo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can you taste the vegetable at it all? It tastes like beef jerky. Yeah, I can't. And, uh, like listen, listen here. I can't even... Oh. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't prepare... I, I, I cut the bottom off just because... Yeah, I... My, I just... The flavor here is not an issue. But I, I... I feel bad that Sam cooked this because she's basically tasked with a very impossible <laughs> task. So I, you... Mm, you like bacon. Love bacon. Because to me, when I try this, it's like cooked in bacon grease, wrapped in bacon. All I taste is bacon. That's it. Yeah. I mean, Very good. Delicious. Decadent. It is, it is, it is, I just said good. It's good. But, you would never choose to eat this. No. No, no. You would just go for the bacon alone. Yeah. Yeah, that's like my overwhelming thought right now. I'm gonna try the other one too. I'm gonna try the shelk. Or the top three. The stuff that just melts in my mouth. Oh. Where it's just one shoe. There's Thank no so resistance. That stuff I'm fine with. But By when the, I get down to the shelk, mmm. By the way, not to... I'm not trying to say anything about Sam's cooking. She's incredible. I was just saying I prefer to cut the bottom off. That's just a preference. <clears throat> oh, true. Sam is saying the reheated messes the texture up. But it was great. I mean, it was delicious. So this one here is corn souffle. I can't say I've ever had this. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Do you like corn? Yeah, so corn is one of the things I do like, so this will definitely, yeah. probably... Mmm! Yo! Oh my! That's crazy good, Sam. Oh my! What the hell? Yo, you guys gotta try this. That's insane, Sam! Yeah, bro, it looks so well. What the fuck? It's one of the best things I've ever had in my life. This is delish. Dude, I'm not even kidding, you guys gotta try this. This is like a mix of a corn in the cob, um, uh, right, cornbread. Cornbread. Wow. Sam. Mm. You have enough for them to try, right? I do. Dude, you guys gotta try this. Uh, I have Taco Bell on the way. Bro, try this. So I'm, just, good. I'm just kidding. Can I try? Yeah, I'm happy to try it. I'm losing my mind. Look at this. I'm eating the whole thing. Dude, yeah, that is ex exquisite. What the hell? What is it? I don't, wow. I don't like corn, for the record. <laughs> and this is stunning. That bacon is so delish. Whatever you did with that bacon, whew. My god. Wow. wow. Okay. Well, you like corn, so yeah. that was the obvious. Mm -hmm. But wow, Sam. That's wow! Gorgeous. Wow! Holy shit. Nike. Coming out next is an iconic appetizer that's been taking the world by storm. The buffalo broccoli. Whoa, thank oh, you. Wow. Look at that. Oh, it's awesome. Now, buffalo broccoli, uh, love, is it's breaded and fried broccoli mm -hmm. tossed in buffalo wing sauce. <laughs> this is scary to me. It's all good. You, you can bite into it. It's not like the asparagus. It's all... when you cut the, the buffalo, smell is I'll very strong. Let me take a bite and I'll see. Mmm. Oh. Uh, mm. That's a 10. Good. I'm almost good one. This one, like, I dread. I dread eating this. The sauce is kind of intense, but... The sauce I'm also kind of scared of. Buffalo sauce is pretty intense. 
Loves taking a bite. Did you get, even get any broccoli? Or? Yeah. <clears throat> He's having a bad reaction to this. Oh. That... I don't like that one bit. Tell me about it. Walk me through the experience. Um... Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what... That, that is just too much vegetable. <laughs> Here we have a right. fried and breaded vegetable. <laughs> Doesn't get more... <laughs> <laughs> but the, honestly, the sauce <laughs> is overwhelming me, too. That is a pretty... When you cut the buffalo, and I'll hook you up. What is this sauce you use, Sam? This is Sweet Baby Ray's? Sweet Baby Ray's? Buffalo sauce. Right. So here's the thing, love. I mean, broccoli, I'm sure you've heard, is one of the healthiest things you I've, can eat. Yes. So it'd be a real shame if we couldn't find something broccoli related for you. Now, what I'm interested in is what if we dry it, ground it up, and put it in Coke or something? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's how vegetables work. Mm. I think you're supposed to eat it. Hmm not processed to that level because i don't think there'd be much because listen left. i'm temporary like if i just had it or maybe a shot maybe i had it, should I have a shot and i just sometimes and i then, put like oh. powdered veggies in my smoothies mm. they do See, that i like the idea of powder you yeah. <laughs> know but i think honestly the biggest issue in this dish is the sauce maybe if i had a unsauced one i have to I agree would... i have to agree that sweet baby ray kind of <sighs> dropped the ball on the buffalo sauce I think they're. I've had their buffalo sauce. I thought. It was try this, okay. dude. It's, it's crazy. I will. I will. You can. So powerful. Here, try. I've, I have extra. Try this. Frosty itself is really good. This sauce is overwhelming. Okay. That is probably the strongest buffalo sauce I've ever had. This is a mushroom. No. Oh. This is. Oh, this isn't stuffed mushroom. It is. What the hell is this? That's crazy. That's fucking bomb. Oh, you like it? Okay, yeah. so I guess it's a preference thing. Crazy. So, so this is spaghetti squash? Dude, look at this. Look what she made. Can you cut? Uh, focus. Really blurry. So, in terms Still really of... really blurry. <laughs> okay, that's... You see, you get it. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, we got it. So, this... in terms of uh, how to eat this, Sam, we just use our fork and eat out of the middle, right? All right, love, let's do it. No, you don't eat the skin. You don't what? eat the skin. You use a fork. And right, eat how up. am I supposed to? I don't even know what it is. What this is. <laughs> eat, eat up the center. All the, the little spaghetti oh, looking the stuff. Right. So what is this again? It's a spaghetti squash. And what's this? And what is this? And perhaps what is the inside? Like a... Sam, go ahead. You want to tell oh. love what he's dealing with? Yeah. He's great. This is amazing. Don't the whole ocean. So, oh wow! Yeah, just oh. just dig in there in the middle, you know. Wait, hold on. Hold the phone. It's a squash, oh, but wow. it's spaghetti. Oh! So I need to know what the seasoning is before I say I like it, because maybe it's something crazy. It looks like bread and parmesan, if I had to guess. There is uh, panko breadcrumbs, a little bit of parmesan cheese, mm. mozzarella cheese, mm. breadcrumb, and breadcrumb olive oil. I think that that's like pretty much it. Oh, thyme. Time is it's time. Yeah. Time is on your side, love. This is really good, Sam. It's it's like good. It. Um, the parmesan is very strong. But listen, this is delicious. All right. But I got to ask the, the viewers, uh -huh. even though I think this is delicious, mentally, I have an extremely hard time even eating it. Just knowing what it, it's like, I don't like. I think you have, honest to God, there's some kind of eating disorder. I I, I hesitate to say that, but right. I there have is, also some, there is the something I think that could probably be treated with some type of therapy. Maybe because it seems like you have uh, an irrational fear or an irrational uh, distaste because you you at on one hand you acknowledge this tastes good, yeah, but on the other hand. You're saying, I can't put it in my mouth. It just it doesn't feel right. Yeah, I've, I've thought the thought that it might be something like that, but okay. it, it's not It's not been a big issue in my life because I don't eat it. <laughs> right. But this is delish. I'll, I'll say it. I'm able to take some more. Take another bite. Yeah. Um, but yeah, ment mentally, it's very tough. So 
So, <laughs> would you you would you wouldn't be able to eat this whole thing? No, 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 no. It's good though, I will say. And I'm so curious how this fruit looks like. It's just a squash, and then it's I don't know it's what called squash spaghetti is. squash. I've never seen a squash. I see a lot of people in the chat uh, spamming this word afrid, which I'm assuming is a afraid. No, no. I... Uh, a a r f i d. Maybe look that up. I'll, I'll look. Afraid Was that an eating thing? I, I I think so. Oh okay. Hmm. Wow, we we might be having a breakthrough here, love. Yeah, maybe. How's it spelled, Dan? Uh, Olivia just pulled it up. Avoidant restrictive food intake disorder, more commonly known as AFRID, is a condition characterized by the person avoiding certain foods or types of food, having restricted intake in terms of overall amount eaten or both. Someone might be avoiding and or restricting their intake for a number of different reasons. <coughs> hmm. Well, that's pretty broad, and yeah, I mean, that, do, that that's sounds mean, like what yeah. you have, or are doing, or it seems like whatever like, you want to describe it. I don't know if y'all have watched, like, Freaky Eaters. Yeah. I'm, you're, you're, that's not even comparable. No, I feel what you're saying. But like, when I, a lot of those people are like, I can only eat this one thing, because everything else makes me feel so weird. Huh. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. It is kind of a irrational. really more severe situation than, than what you're having. But these look delicious. What these do we got here? These mushroom stuffs. Here, let's get a good look at that. AB's coming over. Look at that. Mushroom stuffed with cheese. Oh, What boy. is that, spinach? Yes. God oh, damn, damn. those look bomb! <laughs> Who wouldn't be happy to pop one of those in their mouth, eh, love? That looks uh, good. I smelled it. It just... It smells kind of good, but it's just giving me shivers. Cheers. Shimber, shiver me timber. Cheers, my dude. Cheers, my dude. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Did you eat the whole thing? No. No, you took, like, a bite of it. It's so creamy and tasty, isn't it? Ah. I don't think I can swallow that. You gotta spit it out. <laughs> oh no, man! Damn, I had hope for the for the mushrooms. I'm big time mushroom game. Mm, that is here, weird. So. Again, nothing that jumps out. I don't like the cheesiness either, <clears throat> but nothing that jumps out as disgusting is just tough. Here's what I'll say. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms, even compared to the whole vegetable empire, yeah, is a very odd texture. It's just a weird ass thing. That's what I felt even when picking it up. Yeah. No. That being said, they can be absolutely delicious, and this is one of those times. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to hit this, Dan? The st the stuffy the stuffy boy. I'd love to. Thank you. So, um, love, since that one kind of hit you rough, why don't yeah. you take a bite of the taco Ooh. and clean your palate? Oh or yeah, I gotta hit the taco. And guys, that's good, right? That's, that's fucking good, yeah. Sam. Yeah. And and uh. I also am quite a good cook too. I realized if you ask the Taco Bell people to put jalapeno sauce in your Taco Bell, it makes it, it makes it so good. <laughs> What's yes. that? A jalapeno creamy sauce. <laughs> jalapeno. You know that I I'm a pretty good cook nah, too. You got me, you got me. Dude, love, you're like deep into Taco Bell lore that I don't even know. Yeah, the jalapeno. Jalapeno. Oh no, I'm. He's so right. I oftentimes ask for a little side of it. Yeah. It's jalapeno? like the best sauce they got at Taco Bell. It is the best Darn sauce. The jalapeno, yeah. I guess I'm just not in deep, deep enough. Love right, eating his, uh, uh, love his palate taken... cleanser right now? Yeah. Love, is... love is taking a bite taco? of the Dorito shell. Thank you so much. Oh, that looks fantastic. Now this, I think I can eat. So this is a squash too, love. I don't know if you know that. This is a zucchini. Really now? Zucchini and Italian still... squash, if you will. Oh, this is the, the fake cucumber. Yes, I, correct. No, no, no. It's not cucumber. It's squash. It's fake different. No, he's, say, he's calling it fake this cucumber because the they look the same. That I many times was like, oh, cucumber. I love cucumber. Then I eat it. I was like, Whoa. So squash, in my opinion, yeah. especially zucchini, is one of the most approachable vegetables you oh. can eat because it's like soft. It's chew. It's like really easy to eat. Right. It has a really neutral flavor. And this is one of my favorite appetizers here. It's just breaded. Yeah. Fried. Mm. Um. Zucchini that you dip in ranch or I'm marinara. Very hopeful. Very hopeful. Let's see. Goes bread come. Bread go. Bread come. Yeah. Listen, this has the exact same consistency as a fry. Right. Or more or less, right? Yeah. Um, close. This I fuck with heavily. All right. Okay. We got another winner. So that's pretty good. And Zucchini's healthy too. Like that's like a good veggie to eat and incorporate into your. Into I your mean, diet. listen, if you're. It's better than not eating any veggies ever. Uh, 100%. So we got to get you the veg, the zucchini fries, then by and all means. That's a 10. I think I even like the taste of it. It's oh, not just... Uh, it's big. 
It's not just tolerable. Yeah. I'm wondering if season is it seasoned? Oh yeah, probably heavily it's, seasoned. Okay, heavily. so maybe I'm uh, uh, heavily the season. seasoned. Yeah, probably. And what is the sauce? Here, try perhaps. This. Perhaps. Yeah, this is <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a little seasoned. It's a little seasoned. <laughs> You're right. I don't even taste zucchini. I don't taste zucchini at all. Yeah, at, oh, all. Okay. at all. At all. That's why. Well, I like that's why you like it. Try this, though. love. Yeah, yeah. Remove the breading. Okay. And then eat if the you core, can eat the zucchini yeah. strip. Uh, it's kind of hard. Ooh. You could do it's not a very strong flavor, zucchini, like at all. Like it's it's fairly subtle. See, so the, the way I see the it rip almost even already. The, so like the texture. I got a clean bite there, on the top. I'll eat it right now. Mm -hmm. Oh come on, you got it. That's so small, but no, I should. Can you so, eat that so whole decent, thing? Right? Can you eat that whole thing? Yeah, but I just took the the part I took it off from, and yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Squat. Okay, we got a winner with zucchini. Yeah, I don't love the cost consistency, but I, I, you know, yeah. Or, Sam, yeah. I don't know if you're following, but we may have had a breakthrough with zucchini. And you know what we should do, Sam? Once we find if we find one he likes, we should branch out to <laughs> different power levels. Yeah. Of zucchini. We advance the talent tree. Let's see. Maybe right. we can treat your uh, eating disorder here, uh, yeah. eating disorder here live in front of a live audience. That'd be great. That'd be so sick. Today That's we great. have here fried okra. Okay, I need a, a disclaimer for the fried okra. Go ahead. This is I did not personally make this one. I bought this one frozen. Mine would look way better and taste way better than this. Mm, fair it's enough. A, it's okay. a very long process to make fried okra. Yeah, so. fair fun. enough. Oh, okay. Let me take a taste. Generally, I, I'm not a fan of okra in general, but let me try this and see. I gotta tell you, I've never I've I never know. tried this before. I don't know what an okra is. Even. They eat a lot in Israel, and I, Hila loves it, and I just, it's not for me. It's kind of a southern food too, right, Sam? Ah. Yes. Yeah. It's one of my, it's my, one of my favorite vegetables. I love it so much, but it, yeah, it takes forever to make. I don't like that one. Or I just don't like okra, so you, you know, and you didn't even cook it. So. Yeah, yeah. You can hate on this one all you want. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. Cook it. So. Yeah, that's kind of bad. Mm -hmm. So, are you able to swallow it? You took one piece, whole I'm piece. I'm just chewing it. You took a whole piece. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'll take a little. Oh. Yeah, wash it down with some Coke Zero. Yeah. Good. <laughs> you want to take a bite of the taco, just in preparation? Yeah. That one was rough. I, I will be honest. I don't know. If it <clears throat> tastes green, I won't like it. That's just how it is. It tastes green. It's green. I won't like it. Love is clearing his palate with the Dorito shell Taco Bell taco. <laughs> washing it down with a diet. Uh, Coke Zero again. Mm. Just to reset. Diet, please. I'm diet. seeing a lot of okra mm -hmm. haters in the chat. So it seems like you're not really alone. In it's the, a uh, controversial. I, I, I guess vegetable. so. How yeah. does it look like? Oh, crap. They're just like little, they look like little jalapenos Don't you, with ridges. You know what, I was gonna say, it tastes like a jalapeno tame. Tame oh, jalapeno. It's not a pepper though, it's, or maybe it is. I don't know if it's related. Right, it kind of looks like a pepper. Interesting. See, I think, yeah, it's a plant. Here, it's, a it is, it's a bean. It's a bean? It's what Sam said. Huh? Hmm. A legume, if you will. Oh, I guess I see that. Oh shit, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so this is okra. It's a bean. And I yeah. don't know what to say. I huh. just, it's just not, it's just not my body. I might, yeah. I, I don't, the consistency when it was cooked, not very good. Maybe if it's raw, maybe I would like it more. I don't know. <laughs> you got a raw okra? Uh... Oh man, I'd love to put that. Do you remember, um, since you were talking about World of Warcraft earlier, you, you guys remember wall. collecting okra in the, in Westfall? For the farmer's quest? Oh, you're right, <laughs> yeah. That's funny. that's my main exposure to okra, so that's what I always think of when. Uh, what game are you talking about? <laughs> World of Warcraft. Oh, I don't remember. My, it's I don't. Some very remember. specific quest yeah. in the Westfall region. Yeah, I totally uh, remember. It. Where you collect okra. I have not collected okra in the Westfall. That I. I think you probably have. Did you play Alliance? I was horde. Oh, you were horde, so maybe day, you didn't. Every day, I didn't fuck with those guys. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, got yeah. Dude, we used got to be. It. Dude, we wow. used to be hardcore. We would. We would get, had a whole group of paladins because you know how you could go invulnerable for like wow. thirty seconds, right? And we would charge into the human city Yo. just to fuck with them, dude. That's crazy. And then we teleport out in sick. unison. So sick. I remember doing that raiding. 
Wow. Rain the towns. Hell yeah. <clears throat> so, um, okay. I gotta tell you, there's a bunch wow. of people in the chat that know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, For some bro. reason, that quest has embedded itself in my mind from 25 years ago. You know, I think they actually made a new quest, so I don't think it's there anymore. Oh, yeah. sad. I think they changed it. Sad. Damn, that's a shame, But man, man this freaking uh, corn thing. Whew. You're going back to that. Yeah. Did you try it? I haven't had a chance to yet, no. Here. Shot, it's so good. How about you just... I, I mean, I'm, I'm yeah. switching the show right now. Okay, thank you. Give it a shot, Got a lot man. going on. And perhaps, perhaps do we know what sauce this is? I, I made it. Oh. It's a uh, lemon rosemary. She aioli. says it's a mm. lemon That's aioli. lemon rosemary aioli. Oh, that's Great. what I, li I really like aioli a lot. Thank you, Sam. So this is the final one, and this is one that Sam has high hopes for. This is the candied yam. Can you describe the process of of a? Is this mic on, Dan? Go ahead. Okay, um, so have you ever had a like, sweet potato? It's the same thing as a sweet potato, pretty mm. much. Mm. Um, but okay. you cut them, put them in a dish, and make a sauce and pour it over, and then you bake them, and it gets all like emulsified. Mm. So I do, I do already like sweet potato. You do? Yeah. But, oh, okay. So sweet, you already have a big head really start healthy. here. Really? Yeah, it's a great. I thought it was unhealthy because it's so no, sweet. I think people say sometimes potatoes unhealthy. I think that has more to do with how it's prepared, but it is heavily carbed. But but sweet potatoes is is a very very nutritious. Now what is this seasoning? Perhaps <laughs> uh, it's candied, right? So what if, sugar. Uh, it tastes like Christmas. <laughs> it's uh, butter, sugar, cloves, cloves, almond milk. That's that is very Christmassy. That combination. So uh, yeah, cinnamon. Wow. Oh, cinnamon. That's it's cinnamon too. That's delicious. That is just such a little sweet treat. <laughs> you ate the whole thing. Yeah, I, uh, this plate, this I, I would form. That should bust him. So I, th I actually think this is this is a valuable exercise because I do think it's important for you to start considering to eat vegetables more frequently. Yeah, and if you can get in the habit of eating more sweet potato or zucchini, then maybe once you get more used to eating those kinds of dishes, you might be able to open yeah, open up I, a little more. I think it's about my mental barrier, and if I can break slowly break that down by right. ramping into it, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Do you feel that you want to be able to enjoy vegetables, or do you not care? I don't really care. You I'll don't care. Honest. No. No. You I, don't. You some, don't now. Sometimes when like Dan is ordering a brekkie burrito, I'm like, <clears throat> it's not even worth it for me to like. Usually, I can take it and take that out and take that out, but breakfast burrito, I don't like cheese, I don't like fucking all these vegetables, I don't like... All these vegetables eggs. in a breakfast burrito? I don't know, sometimes it's pepper. Well, I guess has a <laughs> Pico de gallo? I get a, I get a veggie br breakfast burrito. So. Uh, he's a vegetarian. I know that, love. Right. You don't have to get a <laughs> veggie burrito, you could get like yeah, a I bacon mean, uh, potato burrito. Uh, AB always gets a steak one. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, they go crazy in those breakfast burritos. You can branch but it's out. egg, cheese, and uh, like peppers. Well, I'm not all gonna, those I don't if like. If you don't like egg, then it's that's a non oh, game it's a non starter. It's so. Breakfast burrito's not yeah. your game. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so in a it's sense, there fault. there's a place where I like oh, I wish I was a little bit open minded. I do, like Dan fault. was touching on, there will be a day someday when a doctor is gonna sit you down and tell you, listen. Gotta start eating more veggies. Right. Because so, mm -hmm. you'll just generally feel like shit because you're going on thirty. And then he's gonna be like, what about your diet? And you're gonna be like, I eat nothing but Taco Bell. And he's gonna be right. like, that's probably why you feel like shit. Day of reckoning. <laughs> but um, but until know. then. But until then, have fun. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy well, your I, youth. Asthma goal is doing good. What does that mean? He started eating yeah. vegetables? No, he doesn't. He's eating just like me. Oh, is he doing good? He's doing great. What does Day he eat with his usual we'll uh, Simil Very similar to myself. Fast food? Yeah. He likes Wendy's, yeah. right? He likes I, Wendy's. I'm, Wendy's. I'm the same way. I, I'm okay so far. But we'll see. Well, what, just, just eating like shit all the time? You yeah, mean? all the time. Oh, well, you exercise regularly, though. No, I know. I, I think that does make a difference. Too. I it helps. I haven't since the creator clash. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. Are you gaining weight? No, I've actually been losing weight. Oh, really? Yeah. Because yeah. of the muscle mass, you think? Muscle mass and just sleeping better. Oh, you're sleeping yeah. better. That's nice. Because when I'm up like super long, I'm eating more as well, like super late, which mm. is. Rough. We got weight. So you you also have an issue eating vegetables, AB? I 
I don't hate them. No, I don't hate them, but I don't eat them a lot. Right. Yeah. Mm. Fast food. So what I'd like to do, love, with your consent, well, I can keep them. Here. Is to build upon what we've what we've done here. Yeah. Sorry. And uh, you know, branch out into the world of squashes. Branch mm. out into the world of of uh. What was the other one you liked? Yeah. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Yeah. yeah, potatoes I like a lot. I like potato. Like a uh, skill tree and an MMO. Yeah, it's like a talent yeah. tree. You just branch out. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I do you like potato. Potato, yeah. Potato. Not fried, like just potato. I'm, well, I'm Swedish, so it's a lot of cooked potato, boiled. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, that's yeah, good. Yeah, they, they fuck with those potatoes. Yeah. That's Pot good. Yeah. Because you can prepare sweet potato and potato pretty much the same way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm excited. I, I'm this hopeful. This is very a hopeful is development in the uh, saga yeah. of Love's life. I did fear that he fault. was just going to outright reject all of them, but we had, what, there was like three that you were outright like, this is great. Like, um, not even just like, okay, but... Potato, uh, the zucchini. Zucchini is like, wasn't, uh, it was, or like, yeah, pretty good, right, okay. I guess. Um, corn, a uh, corn I love. I'm a big corn boy. I love any corn. Welcome except to America. Except we love warm. corn here, boy. I right. like cold corn. I don't mm. love warm co co uh, corn that much. Wait, yeah. what? He doesn't really? like warm corn, Dan. Actually, my son's the same way because when Teddy wants it and I Yee. cut it, I cut it in strips down and it all sticks together in one strip. He loves that. <laughs> Keep on dancing, love bug. Hell yeah, partner. Very Keep good. on dancing. Very, very good. Well, boys, that's it for we're here today. We love me some corn out here in America. Love, keep going. Keep doing it, love. Keep on dancing. Keep dancing. Come on! It's a square dance, Come folks. on now. Dance more, Piggy. Dance. Now Atta squeal, boy. Piggy. Dance. Squeal dance. now. You gotta look happier while you do it. Come on now, Piggy. Smile. <laughs> Yee! Smile, boy. Come on. Show us those pearly whites. <laughs> I right. used to work up. Uh, <clears throat> One of the jobs I had when I was in college was at like this weird light fixture store. And the owner was real, like an old dude. And he used to, he was such a fucking uh, <laughs> old school chauvinist. He would, he would talk to the, the women who worked there and be like, hey, here comes a guy. Give him a smile. Brighten up his day. Stuff like that. <laughs> Being like, hey, there's a guy over there. Go, go over there and give him a smile. That sounds like. <laughs> some old school geez. shit. That sounds like our friend. Who makes people's days better at Trader Joe's? Yeah, uh, right, right. Zach does that on a daily basis. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he so goes you're over there comparing and gives them a smile. me to a chauvinistic. Well, no, you're no, more. No, 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 no. What he told you to do is go the give girls. him a smile. Right. You're yeah. the one giving the smile. Right. You're the you you're the one out spreading of the joy. Of your heart. I know what you mean, though, Zach. I was feeling. <laughs> yeah, that's a diss right there. Wait, dude. I don't know if I was. That's a face through. That's a total one. I was you were the one doing the kind gesture. I know how you feel. No, no, you made your point. All right, all right. She meant your modern day show. You know what? You can take my words however you will. I was just saying you brighten people's day, and that's the wording that you. Well, that sounds nice. And you have a beautiful smile. And you have a stunning smile. That sounds nice, but kind of well, let's, curveball. She's, let's, amend, uh, not she's amended her statements. Zach. Zach. Yeah. Cheer up the audience a little bit. Can you fucking... Uh, Give us a smile, <laughs> baby. Smile. What are you doing? Thank there you. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There that it was is. what I was talking hey. about. Hey, there's some ladies in the audience. Give them a smile, Zach. Yeah. Right <laughs> Come on, Zach. <laughs> you do have a great smile, though. Thanks. He, yeah, Thanks, BB. Well, there it is. That was a, a really exciting journey through vegetables world. And, uh, yeah, went better yeah. than I expected. Yeah, thank you very much, Sam. That was very, very yeah, nice. Shout out, Sam. Very nice. Can you tell I love vegetables? Uh, wow. I can't tell. Yeah. I got my veggie phone. Wow, you girl loves around. veggies. Is that a veggie QP, too? Let me say this. Yes, it is. A veggie wow. what now? Wow, QP. Oh. Let me say this. It. I think the goal ultimately in this project is to see if we can get you to eat a healthy version of the vegetable. Mm. And those exist, you know, just the right spice. Yeah. But then also to see if we can get you to eat like a serving of it. <coughs> Not a lot, right? But just like a <laughs> serving, which is like a small plate, a tiny plate full. Right. Yeah, I mean, no problem. It says, damn, that sounds a lot. Uh, right, no, it's, it, Dude. and don't, don't get anxious. It's a yeah. lofty goal. Right. 
I believe in him. But I it's believe, a good goal. It's a good goal. Yeah. I believe we'll see a day where Love will eat asparagus not wrapped in bacon. He'll just eat it wow. raw. Wow. Wow. Oh, really? That's exciting. I believe in it, dude. I believe yeah. in it. Three pieces of rock of asparagus. Without any bacon transportation was. help, like a bacon? You can like... Like what? how I made it. Pan fry a little right. bit. Right, right, right. Yeah, you, know, you know what's a great way to have asparagus? And you said earlier that you love this, mm. is you just fucking put a shit ton of garlic with it. That's true. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, sometimes and I You see love garlic, so you can just mask that shit with the garlic. Yeah, nothing wrong with garlic. So I'm, I'm blind-pilled <laughs> to the point where I see, like, fucking someone in the <laughs> office eat a salad, and I was like, no fucking shot you like that shit. You're... That I call, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you did. I call it <laughs> virtual sn- signaling. <laughs> that was exactly virtual like like, signaling. It's like no shot you eat that shit. <laughs> that is brown pilled. You're or bl- black brown pilled. That's yeah. like men going their own. <laughs> yeah, going their own Just way brown. without vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. We do not need vegetables. That's how hard of a brown. time I have to accept that people like it. That's yeah, weird. I mean salads can be delicious. Obviously, it's like, do you? Lo- does it taste as good as like a hamburger? It doesn't, but it, it's right. it, okay. it's enjoying in a different way because it's a wholesome, it's right. refreshing. It you don't feel heavy, right. and there's some really delicious salad dressings, frankly, too. Yeah. It's all about the dressing at the end of the absolutely. day. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely, absolutely, which I know you understand as a sauce boy. Love. I I love sauce. I dressing love sauce. is just sauce for salad. Dressing up and look. <laughs> and then I mean, you, you can mix what? it up with yeah. like olives. Dressing up. With croutons. Croutons. Oh, you know, I mm. love croutons. I know you don't like cheese, so I would never suggest that. Right. Love says croutons. Right. Crouton. That's yeah. just, that's probably the that's real way to say it. Probably close. What do you mean? Crouton. Real way to say it. Crouton. Crouton. Yeah. Well, like the French, right? In Swedish, we say crouton. 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 The real way to say it. The French way. Here, let's get a pronunciation. Crouton. 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 Yeah, I, I love to... garlic, though. I will say. Will you eat whole roasted garlic? Crou- yeah, for sure. That's good. <laughs> crouton. Nice, crouton. Crou- According to Google, it's. Crouton. Crouton. That's like the most American ass yeah. sound. Crouton. 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 <laughs> That's Google. Crouton. Crou. Crouton. How to pronounce it in French? <laughs> Let's see. Crouton. 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 Okay. Crouton. Oui, oui, oui. Zach. Crouton. I like this one. Crouton. Crouton. That's like the most American <laughs> ass. <laughs> Dumb sounding <laughs> English shit. <laughs> crouton. It's a crouton. There it is. Quesadilla. Quesadilla? Oh, wait, speaking of which, did the Taco Bell show up? They've already failed us. This, they, it's wrong it's on that the they table. lied. It's no, it started in the middle of a... Uh, it came in the middle of the segment. Oh, okay. Oh, it's yeah. here. Well, yeah. let's get that shit going. Huh. Well, hell diggity dog. <laughs> no, but this one... I, I enjoy this. I do, I do... I've never... I've always tried things. I always give <laughs> things a shot, and um, this was very enlightening and very nice. We love that. We yeah. love that. All right. Well, very good. Thank you, everybody. See, I'm, I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> Let's see. We've got other, lots of other stuff to get to. One thing I do want to mention at the top of the show here. Top of the show. It's We're at two hours. <laughs> right, right. That's not exactly <laughs> true. <laughs> I was looking at the top of the show section oh, okay. of that document, and that, that's just not true at all. <clears throat> I want to once again remind everyone what a benevolent, uh, generous, uh, uh, altruistic person I am. Oh, just in case we forgot? I don't know if everyone remembered, but I did donate $6,500 to the uh, Palestinian Mel- Medical Assistance hosted by Hassan. And so, wow. just don't want anyone to forget, you know. Dearborn fucking legend right here. Thanks, bro. <laughs> we need a new video of this. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I want to, I have to talk about something. <clears throat> Some of y'all might not like it, but I'm, so I'm going to do it fast. But talk I think it's about imp- the it's, allegations! Okay, stop. I think it's important to say, so that's why I want to do this. It's about something we were talking about. Oh my god. This is funny, Cam. This is so cursed. Lo- Love, you pick the road. Which one you want to walk down? <laughs> the choice is pretty clear to me. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Dude, him with the meat scarf is so fucked that up. That is crazy. God, the meat scarf is I mean, disgusting. He's sick, man. He's I will s- say, as of now, if I 
were to be a vegetarian or a meatian, I I have to pick the meat because I cannot sustain a oh. life on just veggies at the moment. Well, I don't think anybody can, for the record. They Dad eat can? lots of other stuff. No, he doesn't just eat vegetables. He eats I don't broccoli. just eat vegetables. Yeah. Oh, what do you? But eat? I mean, oh. some. I mean, I'm not vegan. I'm just vegetarian. Oh, right, there right, are right. vegans. I mean, you eat eggs. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I I I get protein based. Yeah, I mixed yeah. it up. Yeah. Right. Okay. So maybe I could pick that. So if you are take, if you're choose, thank you so much. If you're uh, forced to walk one of these paths, it would be of meat kings. Pro. Oh, man, I, I wish there wasn't what's my face on there because I w would pick Dan just because he's there. Oh well, thank you, man. Because I can't go with him. But if it was Liver. just meat or salad, I'd have to pick meat. That makes sense. All right. So anyway, um. Oh, anyway. Yesterday we had see you next Tuesday, which we did for the members. It was a fun time. Thank you for being there. <clears throat> One thing is that the news was breaking. I think, I'm sure everybody's heard about this by now. This huge story that's uh, a hospital in Gaza. <clears throat> the story was that the IDF airstriked the hospital, killing at least 500. And it was so, I mean, I was in so much despair from that story. I think everyone was just like, wow, this, this is horrible. And I was just praying, like, please, I don't want this to be true, because the ramifications for this would be terrifying. I mean, just in the middle of the night, in Lebanon and other countries, they were rioting slash protesting uh, outside U.S. and Israeli embassies. And the risk of this thing getting escalated into a larger war is very real and very, very, very scary. And this is the type of thing that could escalate it. So, <clears throat> I was uh, arguing with some people in chat, and once, I think the biggest takeaway of, from this uh, that everyone needs to bear in mind is to please listen to me more. Uh, before you get more into this, I'm sorry, real quick. My uh, my cat is actually stuck in a tree, so I, I have to go. I'll be right back, though. Before you Your cat is stuck in a tree? Yeah, yeah, I gotta go. I'll be, I'll be right back. But continue. Oh, he's going to rescue his cat, you guys. What a hero. Wow. You sure it's not a small child on the freeway? <laughs> I don't believe so. Okay, yeah, he's gone. He's out of here. I think he just did a Shaquille O'Neal. Delete me from this conversation, which again, I understand because let's be real. We've talked about this. No matter what your opinion is, there's somebody out there that's going to fucking hate your guts for thinking it. And I think that's part of what <sighs> created this situation that was so volatile because <clears throat> at first yesterday afternoon, the story broke and the immediate reaction from the media the media at large, frankly, was pretty incredible looking back. They all ran this headline, IDF, airstrikes, hospital, killing 500. That is horrible. But, uh, and so I understand why people are getting worked up and, you know, that's just, that's just horrible. And uh, the thing, I guess, is that the IDF started to deny it. They said that it was the result of a Palestinian jihadists of Palestine. So it wasn't even uh, Hamas that did it, although it was another terrorist group in, in, in Gaza. And so <clears throat> there was a lot of speculating. There was a lot of fiery opinions uh, on both sides. And, you know, my takeaway when I was doing the live was let's just Let's just wait and see before we, you know, are trying to rile up a massive escalation of war. Because that, that's what was on the line. This was a big deal. So, you know, just remember, guys, it costs nothing to wait. It's free to wait. You don't have to draw a conclusion immediately. That's, you know what I mean? Like, that's really a noble thing. Just just wait a little bit, you know? And so as more time went on, more evidence started coming out that supported uh, 
the IDF statement that they did not airstrike it, including some really compelling videos of, um, I have the videos. I don't know if you guys want to watch them. They're, they are pretty interesting because I was, I was just glued to the, to the internet yesterday, just trying to figure out like, what the fuck happened here? You know, cause it was scary. And I, I, I would, if, the, if Israel really did this, I mean, the, that would just be way, that would just be, you know, hell to pay for that. Um, so f- the first thing that happened, and this broke yesterday afternoon, these guys geo-confirmed, who I understand is extremely reputable. These guys actually do something really interesting. It's managed by volunteers, these people who are, like, obsessed with maps and coordinates and stuff. And they've been doing a ton of work in the U- in Ukraine, not the Ukraine, excuse me, Ukraine, to track where rockets are being fired from because there's a lot of disinformation there about, like, Sometimes Ukraine is shooting uh, mortars or rockets and it's hitting their own people and they're blaming Russia and vice versa. And so these guys don't appear to have any kind of political slant. And so when this came out, it, I, it was it was a quite a compelling thread. They said uh, a, a missile launched by Palestinian groups exploded midair. One of the pieces fell onto the hospital's yard. You got to kind of give it up to these guys. That's it. That's from what I understand now exactly what happened. And these guys put this tweet out at 2 p.m. yesterday when everybody, including pop, the mainstream media, was saying Israel did this. So these guys really put their neck out there in a crazy way. And they were that, that's exactly what happened, we're understanding. They even have, like, the exact coordinates. These guys are really something. <laughs> the really interesting... Uh, so here you go. Full recording. The rocket is intercepted in the air, breaks apart shrapnel. There was one really interesting wrinkle is that Al Jazeera was doing a live broadcast and just incidentally the rocket was caught behind them on the live and you can see it exactly. But that that this these are all confirmed videos too. There was a whole lot of misinformation about um oh it's old footage and which is true there was an old clip that was going around but I want to emphasize that these are all real clips. These are all confirmed. So you can see a rocket went up. The theory is that it had a malfunction, split apart. The warhead falls to the ground as well as like the rocket head. And uh, it fell right there, which is just a tragic accident. Uh, and I'm relieved to say that I, it was mo- looking like right now almost certainly not the IDF. And I think everybody should be relieved, relieved to know that. You know, and keep, keeping, again, the, keeping the plight of the Palestinians at the forefront of our mind about what they're going through and the amount of unimaginable death, thousands of death that is happening there, is happening there as a result of this IDF um, military operation but the reason it's imp- the truth is important again is because this risks a massive escalation and i think we can all agree that is not something any of us want to happen so i think uh i think it's important that everybody just Take a minute and just, we must have cooler heads prevail. Yesterday when I was doing the live, I was like, let's just wait and see. I was looking over the evidence and I was like, this looks like IDF. I have to say, like, I don't understand how this was a rocket. I don't understand it. But I said, let's just wait and see as information comes out. And even that alone is, is offensive to a lot of people. People in the audience, people who are in the chat. And I, I just, again, the plight, keeping bearing in mind the, what's actually happening there, the truth is important about how this stuff happens. And it doesn't make Israel innocent and everything else, right? But it does matter. It does matter to understand what actually happened. Um, when I saw video clips of, like, uh, people rioting and, 
in Lebanon outside the con- the uh, embassies, I was like, this is fucking horrible. This is going to be war. They were There was like shots of tons of people driving out to the U.S. embassy just in the middle of the night. This was like 2.30 a.m. They were all driving out there, and it looked like... And people were understandably angry. And I can't even blame them for even thinking that because simply the, the mainstream media was reporting that headline, like uncritically, which is pretty incredible. <sighs> yeah, here's the clip I, I saw. Lebanese uh, protesters are headed to the U.S. Embassy after the bombing of Gaza's hospital. So, you know, I saw this, and I was like, oh, fuck, dude, this is... They're gonna want to go to war. And again, totally understandable, the reaction, based on the headlines that were going out. Um, <coughs> this guy's thread... These guys are really incredible. It's a, their their pro- work process is actually just really incredible to look at. Here, they like look at the pictures, line them up with coordinates to try to triangulate exactly where the explosion hit, making exactly where the rocket fell. And uh, these guys really are incredible. Um, going down, I want to show you guys the Al Jazeera one. Is this the one here or is this a different one? You, you see this from a few different angles. And when I saw this, you know, I was like, well, shit, maybe Israel didn't do this. Yeah. Um, the Al Jazeera one was the one that really convinced me, like, damn, this, this, I don't think this was it. And then the other confusing thing was that people reporting 500 plus, I started even to see people saying upwards to a thousand people died, which again is really horrible and scary. But then when, when the morning came around, um, and pictures started to emerge from the, the scene, uh, hold on, yeah, they're just, they're just talking about how they located the, uh, the right thing, the, I mean, these guys are in the weeds doing all this crazy shit, uh, here's a surveillance footage from a large barrage of rocket, of rockets. I don't know if this one shows that one that, that we're talking about. Um, where is this Al Jazeera one? Jesus Christ. So far down here. But this is important. The next day, um, pictures started to emerge. First of all, this is this looks horrible. But what actually happened is that the rocket the warhead, that the explosion, it happened in the parking lot. The hospital, in fact, wasn't even damaged, as far as I'm aware. As far as I understand it, the hospital was, is not damaged. So I do think what happened was that, like, a, there was people that definitely were tragically killed who were in the parking lot. But, again, this number of 500 just... I mean, it is. I guess it's, it is possible if there was... I, I mean... Ugh. I guess it's I guess it's possible. It just it seems very unlikely. And another thing to bear in mind when you're taking in all this media is that the person, the people that reported this missile attack and the deaths is Hamas. Now, I'm not saying everything Hamas says is well, let me put it this way. If I hear any news out of Hamas or Israel, I'm not taking either one of those at face value. I feel like you need to wait for some international reputable reporting to confirm because they both have an extremely vested interest in, uh, you know, prop- propagandizing, I don't know if, that's, if I said that right, people to uh, their cause. And that's just a fact. But I do, you know, so so bear in mind that 500 number is, is reported from Hamas. And it usually is when you read a newspaper and it says, um, Palestinian officials said, Hamas is, they're the officials of, of Gaza, <coughs> or Gazan officials, whatever. So that's just something to bear in mind there. Um, and the reason I say this again, 
is because I want to. Uh, where the fuck is that Al Jazeera one? Damn. Oh, this was a really weird one. The IDF put this out. I, I'll just play it for you, and then we can talk about it. But as people were trying, starting to piece the, the puzzle together, the IDF put out this alleged recording of Hamas operatives. Uh, it's translated, so if you're listening, essentially they're just talking about that there was an accident, that the missile hit the, uh, the hospital, and... Uh, they just seem like, oh, fuck. And then they, they go on to say that they shot the rocket from the cemetery right behind the hospital. And that pretty much, I believe, has been confirmed as well. Which is, again, something to bear in mind here. Um, now, this is, again, this came from IDF, so this could very well not be, you know, it's far from super credible but it is interesting especially in the context of everything that we've now learned uh but again like i said it's it's coming from israel so it's not a en not enough credibility there to say one way or the other um let me see i'm trying to find this al jazeera video maybe someone can find it because i don't know what i thought it was in this thread um, here is, let me see, but anyway, the, listen, again, what is happening in Gaza is disgusting and it needs to stop immediately. And I put my money where my mouth is. Okay. I donated $6,500 to the Palestinian, the Gazan fund or, to help them, to help the civilians there. But I do think it's very important for everybody who's following this story to keep their heads cool, to try your best. It's difficult in these times to stay, you know, level-headed and rational and just like, you know, thoughtful. It doesn't help anyone to jump to conclusions like this. And by the way, I'll say this, this media frenzy of misreporting what happened from popular media all the way down to, you know, influencers, lefties, everyone was just full on. This happened. Dude, there couldn't be a better gift to the IDF now. Like, you don't understand how people are going to. People, now IDF has this plausible deniability on, any, on anything. It's like, you know, they'll say, oh, it wasn't us. And they were right after they got blamed by the whole media. And now it's like they have this whole thing to fall back on and say, yeah. It's like the best gift ever to Israel, the hysterical coverage of this. And I don't mean hysterical to, because it was horrible, right? And you're... Hysteria is not a nice word. The passion was warranted. I want to make that clear. The passion was warranted. Just out of curiosity, did anyone ever follow up with why those two tweets were deleted? Uh, in regards, I think Israel <coughs> put one out, and then another one was from, uh, I believe, the head of, head of something. I, I forget the... So, I don't know. There, that, that was like the two main evidence I saw people saying as proof that it was IDF. Mm -hmm. Which, let's be real, it's not that, that's pretty thin, you guys. One of them was, a, was like an IDF spokesperson who put out a video saying that, like, yeah, it was Israel that bombed the hospital. And then he, he erased it pretty soon after. He's just some random fucking guy who...
Now, he's not a random guy. He represents the government, but he erased it. He was wrong. Just one guy. He was wrong. He said he saw the media headlines and just assumed that it was Israel. And then the other one that was erased was... Uh, I don't remember what it was. It was, uh, from, it was an analysis with uh, the video. <laughs> right. They erased it. I don't know why they erased that one. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, at this point, it's been confirmed by the Pentagon, by independent, by media sources, that this was the failed, this was the malfunction of a, of a rocket attack by the, uh, um, the Islamic uh, jihadists of Palestine. But, I, you know, I saw a lot of people bringing those up, and, while, and I agree it's weird, but it's hardly proof, you know what I mean, in the face of all of the mounting evidence that we've now come to see that basically all but, in my, it, it really all but shows that this was a tragic accident. Uh, here's, here's a shot from the air in the morning of there was lots of like you know it's a shame it's some of the media you see and again I don't blame you because there was a video of something hitting a building uh, and a huge explosion I don't I don't know where was that was from or if it was from this event but what happened was here you can see I think people started to really come around to Israel's didn't do it is this morning when they surveyed the blast area. Here's the parking lot. This is where the warhead hit. And you can see the results is basically there was a, there was, you know, maybe a dozen cars that caught on fire there, but the damage was, um, it was just in the parking lot. And then the, the other thing that is, that I think is, kind of uh, explanatory if I can pull this up is there was another one that said um, that showed the uh, the crater and there's a lot of uh, it shows the crater there's pretty much no crater at all it's like a little dent in the ground which is not at all consistent with an Israeli uh, airstrike so I'm trying to find that crater too. Did anyone find the Al Jazeera one? I don't know. I can't find that. Can anyone f- look for that? Thanks. Oh, here's the impact crater. Here, this is what I was trying to say. So this this is the impact crater. And like, I'm not I'm not a, a military an analyst, so clearly I have no fucking idea. But from what I'm hearing, is that an Israeli missile is going to weigh tons, especially one that's going to blow up a hospital and kill 500 people, and it's going to leave like a fairly significant crater in the ground. You know, and that to me looks like not that big of a of a crater. Um, thank you, thank you so much. Here I got. <coughs> oh, these were the ones that were deleted. Okay. So this was, uh, so this is the guy I was talking about. He's part of some, I honestly don't know who he is. He tweeted out, Israeli Air Force struck a Hamas terrorist base inside of a hospital in Gaza. Multiple number of terrorists are dead. It's heartbreaking that Hamas launches rockets from hospitals. First of all, this guy's take is fucking insane. Like what he said is happening is he saw the headlines and then immediately rushed to Twitter to say like, there's a bunch of, terrorists that are dead he's he was talking about 500 people at the time presumably that died in a hospital so like this tweet is fucking barbarous on its own but this guy is not representative of the entire israeli uh intelligence apparatus there's just some guy who was wrong you know what i mean this one was uh israel tweeted out breaking news from the an- analysis of the operational system of the IDF, an, an enemy rocket barrage was carried out towards Israel, uh, according to intelligence. So they put out this post and they erased it. I don't know why they erased it, but I'll tell you this. There's tons of verified footage of it happening. You, I don't know what was in this video or why they erased it, 
but we don't need these videos to know what happened because there's tons of videos from tons of different perspectives, including the one I'm trying to find you guys, the live broadcast that was just um, incidentally found. You can't find it. It was Al Jazeera was doing a live report and you could just see the rocket in the back. It was just totally uh, random, a random encounter. And it lines up perfectly with the time. It lines up perfectly with the location. This guy who, this guy here who deleted his tweet, he's a leading Israeli Jewish influencer and human rights activist in the fight against anti-Semitism, anti zionism and the BDS movement. So I don't even know if he is a fucking of working as an official spokesman. He is, he is. Oh, he is a digital aide to the Israeli prime minister. So he's a digital aide. Again, insane and incriminating if we didn't have more evidence. This is obvious. This is clearly just one fucking monstrous freak. You know what I mean? Uh, this one again. Here, oh, did you find it? The Al Jazeera one? Uh, this is, I believe this is it. I mean, it's, it's not. <laughs> yeah, this is it. This is it. Thank yeah. you. Um, so this is the one I saw where I was like, oh, fuck, because you can clearly see what's happening. You clearly know the date, the time, who's it was that it wasn't altered or, you know, manipulated in any way. So here is the report. Actually, I'm just going to skip to the end because it's kind of long and it happens uh, at, towards the back. But you can see there's a couple of missiles launched. And then right back here is when. See, I don't even think this is the one. They're j just to show that they, there was there was rockets being launched at the time. <coughs> Go ahead. Go ahead now. Any minute. Thanks, X. X. X! What happened? Maybe try to refresh the page. Drum roll, please. Right, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. So here's one rocket. I don't believe this is the one that comes after this. Or maybe it is. Yeah, this is it. So it's so what they it's separated. There was a malfunction where the warhead got separated from. The rocket body. And again, it's important to bear in mind, this does happen. It's it's approximated that 10% of the rockets shot from Gaza malfunction. And they frankly, sadly, they do end up coming down and hitting uh, public spaces in Gaza. I mean, that's just only, that's just only natural. So this stuff does happen. <laughs> and there it is. So, again, this is all happening live on Al Jazeera, which is such a crazy coincidence. But one more time, you see the rocket, and this has all been geolocated, right? These guys, they've crunched the location, the time, everything adds up. Here goes the rocket. It's not intercepted, it malfunctions. Separates, falls to the ground. And there it is. Another thing that had me skeptical was like, I just don't know how a rocket had such a big explosion. It doesn't make sense to me. Well, one, is that it actually wasn't that, it wasn't as big as people thought uh, based on the scene from the parking lot. And two, this was one of their like super long range rockets and it was just launched. So uh, presumably it had a ton of fuel in it that was not used. And so I think that's part of what contributed to the, the size of the fire plume that comes up from there. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, again, I don't know if you trust American media or if you trust the president, but Biden said uh, that 
the Pentagon independently confirmed separately that it was uh, a malfunctioned rocket from the Palestinian uh, jihadist group or whatever they're called. Um, so, you know, basically my point is just that this stuff does matter. That's it. That's all I want to, I want people to say because the amount of people that just were immediately, um, and vehement and, and like, not only they, not only, I'm wrong. And also I'm, I'm wrong for saying, let's wait. All I said was like, let's just wait a little bit. And that's fucked up apparently to some people. Because again, to me, the, this is great news, as sad as that's to say, because people did die. But it's great news that the IDF, first of all, didn't kill 500 people, probably. Didn't blow up a hospital. The hospital's still there. And that they didn't intentionally bomb a fucking hospital. And I'm not saying they didn't do it. But what was being reported was horrific and could have possibly brought other people into the war. So I do think this is important, and I do think people, especially in these high tensions, when everybody, you know, is rushing to social media and wanting to fucking get the scoop on the story, that we have to be more level-headed. We have to be, and just, ha just, you know, clear minds must prevail. Weakest analysis, I'm sorry to tell you, but what's your analysis? That two tweets were erased? That's your proof? Your proof is that two tweets were erased. I mean, these are the same people that look at the the death scene of a murdered child and say that the picture's face because there's a fake because there's a splatter of pink on it. So, listen, I see Jade chat. I appreciate that, you guys. Uh, there's no leftovers on Thursday. I just wanted to touch on this because I think it's important. Now, again, Israel has bombed hospitals, and I'll even say this: we looked into this report that apparently something hit that hospital even a few days ago, that very hospital, and injured people, you know. So, like, I totally understand why people drew this conclusion. I understand it. I understand why. So on one hand, I'm not even blaming people necessarily. I am blaming the, the mainstream media. It was crazy that they ran with this headline that wasn't true. But... I don't blame influencers and stuff that rushed out to to cover it. Because, like I said, there there was, like, a history of the IDF hitting this hospital. Right. And combined with, like, some of the footage and stuff I saw, to me, my, my first thought was this was 1,000% the IDF, for sure. But turns out that almost certainly at this point, it was a failed rocket launch and that to me is worth saying and it's worth uh knowing the truth and this isn't to absolve israel of any of the war crimes that they've done of which there is a lot but i don't know if you guys were online the the atmosphere was fucking crazy online like after it was initially reported about the uh 500 people in the and the hospital being blown up like the atmosphere was really, it was scary. I was scared. Um, what media did that? Literally everyone. It was like the BBC, the Washington Post, Reuters. It was, it was quite, quite a significant amount of people. Ethan, this is extremely painful to hear. Well, I'm, if, uh, I'm sorry that it's painful to you that uh, the IDF didn't kill a bunch of people in that hospital. My condolences to you. You're spreading propaganda, Ethan. You're a fucking moron. You're, you, 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 dude, you're stuck. You're in a propaganda hole. Like, literally, you fell to Hamas propaganda. You, you, you're, you're spreading the propaganda of a terrorist organization. Because two, two tweets were erased. There's, like, almost no evidence at this point at all that points to the IDF. None. So... I understand that you're con you're convinced that this happened. I understand that you think I'm like a monster or something. But uh, to me, the truth matters. And I don't want this war to escalate. And I'm scared. 
scared for the people in Gaza, and I'm scared for the people in Israel, and this war, and I don't want this war. Embarrassing yourself? I mean, listen. Just go read a little tiny bit, you know what I mean? I don't know what to tell you. It's all there. It's all there. True, you know, and there's there seems to be a lot of people that are angry that Israel didn't blow up the hospital and kill uh, 500 civilians. They're angry that it didn't happen, and I express my deepest condolences to them uh, that uh, it didn't happen like that. So I'm very sorry. That, but that being said, obviously my heart is always with the uh, Gazans, the Palestinians. And I'm donating, and I'm rooting, and I'm supporting them. But the truth ultimately is important. If you think I'm doing propaganda, if you think I'm lying, um, that's fine. But I must tell you, the, all the evidence is out there. If you want to look and, and read it and get into it now, and look at the, uh, the footage from the day after, from this morning, which is essentially what really turned people when they saw the, the scene from this morning, then... If you don't want to look at that and you just want to say it was IDF because there was two erased tweets, then uh, I'm afraid that you actually might be succumbed into Hamas propaganda. Again, the deaths, the damage, it was all reported by Hamas. I don't think Hamas or IDF is a reliable reporter of the news. Uh, and if you think otherwise on either side, then you're being pretty... Pretty obtuse. I'm sorry. Some of y'all don't want me to talk about this. I think it's important. It's important to me. So there it is. That's all I have to say. I, I genuinely, I think it's important to say. That's it. Thank you. Uh, Ethan is not lying. He's just playing too fast and loose with Twitter propaganda. Again, listen, I encourage you to just go read like go outside your bubble of people that are in this perpetual state of uh, and justified right because there are horrible things happening but I encourage you go read this thread from geo confirmed you know go look at the pictures and go look at the media I mean even the media is reporting it now like uh, I saw on BBC BBC was saying that it was likely now a a rocket strike. So, if you think I'm wrong, I don't. I don't know how, what to tell you, but um, the truth is important. And regardless of what you think, if I'm right or wrong, let's say, let's say we don't know. My point is even this: let's all let cooler minds prevail. It's way too important right now to be making claims that we're not sure of. So let's say, Ethan, you're lying. You don't know. Okay, but there's enough reasonable doubt at this point to say maybe it was a, mis a uh, malfunctioned rocket. So if we can agree on that at least, then we can all agree, like, let's just wait and find out. Wait for more, in, uh, you know, uh, bipartisan reporting and investigation and analysis, which is coming out. And um, so then we, we agree. And that was my point from the beginning. Let's just be patient. It costs nothing to wait. And these things matter. They are important. <laughs> Thank you. There's also, you know, and, and I'll just tell you how else this stuff matters. I mean, a synagogue in Germany was attacked yesterday. And, I'm, and it was because of this hospital bombing story. Berlin synagogue attacked and anti-Semitic incidents rise. You know, it, it, it's because, and this shit matters. You know, it does matter. I, I mean, it matters to me. It should matter to you, I think. The truth should matter. But anyway, my heart and mind is always with the Palestinian people, the people of Gaza, and uh, always working for the government to stop. Thanks. That's it. Any thoughts? Anyone want to touch that? Hmm. A nightmare. A nightmare. A nightmare. A nightmare. 
a nightmare. We encourage you to go read other sources than U.S. and Israeli media. Dumbass, go to any fucking, go to Reuters, go to BBC. They're all fucking saying it, moron. I mean, by the way, the Israeli media are the ones that are like most critical of the Israeli government, by the way, if you want to talk about Israeli media. Go ahead, Ibi, sorry. No, you're good. Uh, yeah, I don't want to get too into it, but like you said, I think I agree with your, your point that people shouldn't jump to conclusions. But also, as you said, you can see why some people were quick to believe it because it's happened in the past. Uh, That's why, and I believe it's important to, this is something I'm working on and hopefully it's something I'm getting better at. I want to give people more benefit of the doubt and treat people more charitable. This hospital was attacked before. There was also apparently a warning shot outside there. They were told to evacuate. So, like understandable conclusion and like I said that was my initial conclusion as well so all I'm saying if I'm right or if I'm wrong let's just wait and see so that we don't uh, you know cause World War 3 is that okay can we not cause World War 3 I would prefer not to but maybe I'm crazy um Thank you very much. That Pierce Morgan interview with uh, Basim Yusuf, that's going super viral. It has 10 million views already. It was pretty, that thing is very good. That guy's pretty funny, man. Yeah. What is Pierce Morgan taking? He's a conservative shitback, right? Like, he's got to be pro. He, he brings in, uh, I mean, I don't know, I'm not familiar, but he brings in, what's his name, the head of the Daily Wire at the end of the interview. Uh, ben Shapiro's partner, what's his name? Jeremy? Jeremy Boring. Oh, oh yeah, he had been on recently too. So yeah, he's a, like an IDF simp, like the worst kind of, the worst kind of Israeli supporter there is. Nah, bro, I don't like Jeremy either. Dude, I heard Hassan told me he's going on Piers Morgan. I think he's going on tonight. Right, and can't wait for that. And you should clarify because you said no leftovers, and I think everybody panicked. And oh shit! No, it's not. Thought it was because we canceled the show. Hassan is out of town. TwitchCon. It's TwitchCon. This was something we knew was happening beforehand. Yeah, yeah. This is. <laughs> I didn't know that people would. I didn't even think about it like that. <laughs> Oops. Leftovers is not canceled, you guys. I think we need leftovers more now than ever. In fact. You know what I mean? That being said, I do look forward to seeing him on Piers Morgan. I wonder. I told Hassan, I was like, he's going to try to hose you. That's like his thing. I I think he hates Hassan. Hassan's been covered in the media. He's been covered by Ben Shapiro. He's the, the America Deserve 9-11 guy. I think Piers is going to try to hose him. We'll see. I mean, that's... Undoubtedly. I'm, he, no, why else he, would he be invited? He to told tomorrow? him he's coming on... <laughs> To provide what they told him was that he's coming on to provide commentary. So the former Israeli prime minister is going on the show to talk about it, and then he's coming in afterwards to provide commentary. That's what they told him. Who, Omer or what? Omer, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Which is kind of crazy. That is very crazy. Which is cool for him. I just, I, I think, and he knows. It. I was like, be careful, bro. That guy's. That guy is not your friend, just so you know. He knows that. He does know yeah. that. Yeah. He's well aware. But hopefully he just fucking, you know. Uh, and he probably will handle himself really well. What, Cam? I used to work at, or you, I used to work with somebody that was his producer at CNN. Uh, and she described him as a pig. So, it's behind the scenes. Shocking. That sounds about right. Yeah. Shocking. <sighs> A nightmare. AB, how's your cat? Did you rescue it? Uh, Hamas killed the cat. Oh, oh my <laughs> god, no! <laughs> no totally. Are you sure it wasn't the idea? It was the idea. Don't even joke, dude. They missile striked the tree. Yeah. yeah. Hamas I'm allergic to cats. <laughs> and you know, by the way, the Israeli media, they're so untrustworthy that like, again, I totally understand you guys. <clears throat> not wanting to, not willing to believe what they're saying I don't I don't believe what they're saying either I'm, I'm taking it from other sources 
Well, that's it. We'll see. Well, let's let, let it shake out, whether you agree or disagree. Let's just wait. Okay? Unless you want Lebanon, if, unless you want Hezbollah to enter the war, which is objectively bad, I think, for everybody. Thank you, everybody. I got a challenge for love. Go ahead. Every day I take these super green foods. Mm. What is that? You green just mix worms. it. You mix it in a glass of water. That's and it's your vegetable. Buy it. For the buy it. That's what I sh- That's the shit I've been trying to hit. You, you want to hit this? Oh, I'll, I'll hit it. I'll rep- Do you have an empty Taco Bell cup? We can make you feel at home. Yeah. You uh-huh. do? All right. Cool. Wait, did I forget my drink? Yo, where's my Mountain Dew Zero at, you guys? I see it on the table. Okay, I, uh, it. I got the Pepsi Zero, which I never tried before. It was pretty good. It's gone. I think I think I probably prefer Coke Zero, but it, it was it was an impressive zero sugar soda. Yeah, it's good. Oh, thank you. Good. I gotta tell you guys, Sun Kissed Zero. Sun Kissed. Sun is so Sun-kissed good. No one talks about it. Zero. I it's, said this two I weeks do like ago. Soda. It's fucking insane. Wait, was it, Zach? Did you did you pitch this? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we we talked about this. Yeah, I remember. I heard somebody recommend it, so that's why I was in my brain. It's God. next level, bro. Right? It it so doesn't good. taste like diet. Hey, right? It, like it's I don't believe better. it. It's crazy. Yeah, it, I find I'm I'm right. regular soda is too much. Like nowadays. Me too. I mean. It's, it's crazy to drink that much sugar to the dome. Yeah. Uh, I really have to pee, so uh, I'm going to have Olivia take over the switching. So, uh, good night, man. So, uh, good luck. You guys are going to enjoy a weird version of the show for a minute. You're not there. You're not there. You're not there. I can't sleep. It's a nightmare. Nightmare. a nightmare. A nightmare. A nightmare. A nightmare. I can't sleep. Night there. Not there. there. My head goes numb and my heart beats fast when it feels like that. Love says he's trying to really enjoy this song. I think we're. I think we yeah. might be helping his career out. It's pretty good, in my opinion. Check this shit out. Wow. Oh man, is it sweet, Cam? Yeah, he's probably not. That sweet. I'm gonna try it right now. I don't. Love has got the uh, green smoothie paste drink. He's tasting it. It doesn't look good. Does it taste like gamer sup? Hell no, bro. (laughs) Tastes like straight fucking dirt in a cup. Pussies. That's earth, dude. You're tasting the earth. See, this is what I feel like. People who drink this shit, uh, they say it's good. Hell no, bro. I don't think people think it that tastes good, bro. No, maybe. They just do it. I don't like it. I'm not gonna Lucy. drink it. Wait, did you try it? I, just I did. I took like a sip, and I'm not gonna continue doing it. Ah, uh, it's worth a shot. You'll get there. You'll get there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cam, do you do you think that tastes good, or do you just drink it because it's healthy? Fuck no. I drink it for the nutrients. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So I don't have to eat veggies every day. Put that shit in like a pizza for me or something. Hide it. <laughs> then I can eat it. All right. And we tried. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank Your you. dream of drinking vegetable powder has ended. Yeah, it ended. <laughs> it was good. Shame. Yeah. <sighs> All right. We actually have a lot of other fun stuff to talk about, so got that out of the way. Um, let's see. This is a problem. <clears throat> Link of Rhett and Link was on Howie Mandel's podcast. And Howie, who is one of my best and closest friends in this world. Ow. I would take a bullet for him, I'm pretty sure. Listen to what he said to Link. And I, and trigger warning, this is offensive. Podcast for almost two years, and I'm tell, uh, uh, I could say without a doubt, the best hair we've had. I'm a big judge of hair. Oh, well, Jack, Jackie didn't, I mean, she didn't take that bait. No, I think so. I'm thinking back to all the guests we've had. Oh, Maybe. look at this. Yeah. You want to you really consider <laughs> I, this. Yeah. See, she knows. Now, granted, Link does have incredible hair. I mean, his hair is beautiful. Yeah. It is beautiful. But I think it rides up his forehead more than mine. 
For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. It's receded a bit, right? Yes. Yeah. He's beautiful, but it is receded. It's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. But it's receded a little bit, Howie. But if you want to talk about, like, beautiful hair, he has beautiful hair, you know what I mean? And it's not bad for a guy his age. Like, what is he, 45 or something? He is... They're old. Unlike I'll me. tell you something. We've been doing this podcast for almost two years, and I'm telling... Uh, uh, yeah, he's 45. Oh, wow. Dude, they look amazing, don't they? Holy shit. Those guys are, like, superhumans. You know he dyes his hair gray? Those, uh, yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, it's not naturally gray. What? Lynx, yeah. He, 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 I think he says that he is, his hair is graying slowly and that he's embracing it. But he's always dyed those two front things. I'm pretty sure. That's pretty wild. Yeah. <clears throat> wow. Okay. It's Pretty fashion. Yep. I think it looks good. So yeah, this is a problem. Obviously, Howie's gonna have to reckon with this. There's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of uh, chatter. There's gonna be lots of lots of problems. <coughs> also, going up, moving over to Emily Baker, friend of the show. Um, she made a really honest mistake, which I want to uh, just correct for her. I make sure that she was speaking clearly. Here she is. Oops. Ethan Klein and Harvey, I'm sorry, Harvey Weinstein? No, Ryan Kavanaugh. When right. we saw that beef going back and forth, and Ryan Kavanaugh was like, but your honor, they did all of this. <coughs> and Ethan Klein's like, I didn't tell them to do that. They were pissed off. And a pissed off audience can do quite a lot. But Ethan Klein never... Never. Disclose Kavanaugh's information. Never. And by the way, quite the contrary. I told everyone, leave an honest, good-hearted, beautiful review. Mm -hmm. that's, that's right. By the way, I heard the trailers like offline. Like that you cannot post stuff there right now. Really? Has anyone have, tr does anyone on trailer? Yeah, I heard it's like totally dysfunctional. <laughs> that's hilarious. No. Let me see. Not surprising though. I mean, I'm surprised it's been funded this long. Holy shit. This is their homepage. It's empty. Look. You made it to the end. <laughs> That's sad. This <laughs> is their homepage. <laughs> You've made it to the end. I just got here. I guess they mean the end of Triller. Yeah, they must. Dude, Triller's fucking done. Scroll down a little bit. There's no scrolling down. That's so funny. That's supposed to be at the bottom of the scroll, but it's just on the front page now. This is their whole front page. <laughs> Holy shit. That's it, dude. I fucking love it. So I don't, I don't even know why he's... Oh, you see more, Abby? Yeah. How do I go down? I can't. I just swipe down. I, I'm seeing more uh, trills, as they're You're called. You're seeing lots of trills? Are you let me, the, let me open are it you on the phone in, app? No, I'm, I'm on my computer. I'm not Here. logged in either. I'm going to do incognito. It's the same thing, dude. I got the same thing, but then I like clicked explore live, and then I went back, and it's there. So let me try Triller TV, whatever the fuck that is. Check back soon. Yeah, oh, here we go. go. Here we go. Oh, okay. All right, so it's just dysfunctional. You said a flip back and forth. Yeah, it was flipped. Yeah. And when you're not there, Five not there. Service. I mean, d here's a here's a post with on the main page. This is the second featured trill. It's a random couple's wedding photography, and it has three thousand likes. It's, it's an a ad. is it an ad? It's an ad. Is it not? I don't see uh, it disclosed that it's an ad. Huh. I don't think. Huh. It's hashtag wedding photography, hashtag Fort Lauderdale wedding photography. Very specific. Okay, well, Danny Fupa Troopers in Fort Lauderdale, Tri County area, <laughs> who happen to be getting married soon. This is their second My featured cousin. video. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Yusenia. Pass it along. <laughs> um. So yeah, Triller's doing really good. You guys, we're all we're all rooting Great. for them. We're all rooting for him. Yeah. Hang in there, Cav Cav. Any day now, it's going to take off. He's so Which funny. Line? Sorry. He's so funny. He's trying to say in the defamation case. Oh, now you made it to the end. Now I'm at the end. He's trying to say in the defamation case that Triller has failed and that he has been removed from the board because of 
what I've been saying about him. Angry. And what's funny about that, I and no, I don't want to put words in his mouth. That's a I think alleged when I say. <coughs> no, I, I mean I, that's pretty much what they're saying. That's what the defamation damages are. But what's funny also is that in the lawsuit he's going through right now with his like ex and his kids, he t also said in that trial that it was because of what she said that he was losing business. <laughs> so which one is it, Cav Cav? It could be both. Everybody I mean, but him. Yeah. Everybody. It's, it's everyone. It's everybody else's fault, not me. It's certainly not my fault. Yeah. He's a good one. By the way, if you guys want to learn more, go to Google or whatever search uh, search engine that you prefer. Type Ryan Kavanaugh. Spell his name out. Ryan Kavanaugh. Uh, let's take a look. Wikipedia is number one, of course. Number obviously. two. Number two is, does uh, Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? Oh. Uh, click that. Fantastic. Spend some time here. Look around. Familiarize yourself. It is a public service. Obviously, they do look alike. And... Certainly, Ryan would not be want to be mistaken for being Harvey Weinstein, which is why we've dedicated this website to their many, many differences. So go ahead, take a look, you know, scroll around, and, uh, oh, oh, I look like an anime. Yo, I gotta say, that's, wow. That is, gray job he does, that's expensive hair care. That's like sure. real shit. Yeah. He's like in the salon with the bulb, the bulb over his head and the plastic. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It's worth it. It's going to be me soon, dude. I, I'm discovering more and more gray hairs. Yeah, he pays for it, Zach. You get it for free. What's the problem? <sighs> it's scaring me, dude. How old are you? I uh, just turned 26. I'm fine. They just come in slowly. I think gray hair looks cool. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's a big deal. <laughs> what is this, Xavier? This is on the Triller website. They have a bunch of different raffles. You this donate. is on the website? Yeah, you could donate to a bunch of these. And you can win the Triller? Wait, no, no, no. That's not... Oh, they could be guests? What is this? Five Frank lucky winners. The and their guests get to attend the Triller compound for a day of summer fun. Triller compound? Valid, this, this, you get to come to this house for a day? Cool. Yo. And listen to music? What? Wait, it was posted to... Yeah, and you'll be, um, with the company of creators you know and love. Yeah, right. That sounds great. Dude, I guarantee... <laughs> All your favorite creators on Triller, like the uh, Fort Lauderdale wedding service. Oh, oh, they'll oh be there. God. I yeah. would fucking lose it. Yeah, Fort Lauderdale uh, photography service will be there, so that's pretty big. <laughs> so romantic. There's a carpenter in Fort Lauderdale who's contending. He's big there on Triller. Shit. So very exciting times for Ryan. And obviously I'm rooting for him. And that's about it. So shout out to Emily Baker. Um, this I saw made me really angry. And I think that it's going to piss you guys off, especially you, Dan. It's really mean. Mm. I'm so fucking angry. I'm so fucking angry. Especially me? Yeah. Okay. It, 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 these pranksters are fucking... What, there's, what is wrong with them, man? It's like every generation, there's a whole new... I think YouTube needs to ban pranks. I think we just got to call it. Ban pranks. Pranksters, pranks... It's a bannable offense. Watch this and tell me you disagree. Vegan? Yeah. Would you like to try our um, vegan chicken? May I, may I see it first? Yeah, yeah. Why are you eating it like that? Because I don't, I don't trust. You don't trust me? You no. Damn. I don't eat animal. You're vegan? Yeah. So you I can eat chicken? No. This is chicken. Yeah. Yeah, I don't work for a restaurant. I'm just feeding vegetarian people with chicken. Tastes good though, no? Can we get an opinion? Well, I'm trying to convert vegans. I got us some Popeyes. I just trying to. I'm just trying to get people to eat more meat. Why you did that? I told because you I, I don't like vegan. vegans. I don't like vegans. I'm, I have beef with you guys, which is kind of ironic. I'm gonna call the police. Wait, hold on, hold on. Call the police. Oh, now it's fair. 
What a fuck. Okay, yeah. We got to ban all pranks. You're oh, right. Dude. You were onto something. This is the worst. What, dude, an what a fucking asshole. Like, what a dick. I don't like vegans. I don't like fucking idiots. I don't like that you don't eat something. It bothers me. <laughs> the top comment is never trust that haircut. Are you a vegan? That's fucking yeah. Would you like to try? That's like the Austin McBroom cut almost. Nah, uh, nah, he's got to shave a lot more off. What a prick. That is a prankster haircut, though, if I've ever seen one. <clears throat> um, yeah, I was kind of sh just shocked. That is insane. <laughs> what can you say about that? Dude, if someone stealths me with pork, right. it's going down. <laughs> like, yeah, what? there's a lot of stuff that I would just walk away from. That is one thing where it's like, that is so foul. To intentionally be like, here, try this. It's chicken. And be like, psych, it's pork, bitch, got you. <laughs> That guy would have been fully in his right to deck him, man. So there you go, you agree. We're banning pranks. Yeah, at first I, you know, I'm not for collective punishment as we've discussed in the last week, but in this case. Is it collective punishment if they're all probably pretty dumb and stupid and annoying? I mean, it might be, but in this case, we'll sanction it. <laughs> it's like the minority report. We know they're going to do something <laughs> dumb. It just hasn't happened yet. Right. Which is why I'm suggesting all pranksters need to get on a train. I wonder how well that movie holds up. And I remember really liking it. Did you see the remake? Wait, there's a remake, right? With Tom Cruise? That's the one. I, oh, I thought that's there was the only a, one yeah, that I That was know good. About. That was oh, a Steven was Spielberg movie. I'm talking about the Tom Cruise one. Yeah, that was a good oh. movie. Yeah, it's good. I feel like it never gets talked about. I think know? it. You're right. It doesn't get talked about. It was really good, though. Spielberg too, right? Mm -hmm. the Spielberg movie. You guys, I don't know if it, some of y'all have seen it. It was a big movie when it came out, but we're old, Dan. Yeah, this came out in two thousand and two, man. Oh wow. wow, what? That's crazy. Yeah, watch it. Check it out. It's really good. Good sci-fi flick. Uh, did I mention I donated six point five thousand to? You did. Okay, just making sure. It was just mention in the doc it again if you want. No, it's, I didn't mean to mention it again. I just, I was in the order of the document <laughs> and I got confused. Oh, I suppose I can take this uh, photo of you with this hair off. Um, let's see here. Goofs and gaffs. You guys, you guys want to talk about quarries? Y'all want to do jade? Hell, here, always. I've got a good always. jade thing for you guys. We were talking jade a little bit. Oh, uh, you may have missed it. So there's a fan who left a super chat uh saying that they have a ton of jade and that they're like a geologist and they have a rock cutter and they'd be willing to help us come cut it and then we looked into them and they they're like they're big on mineral talk they had 1.5 million followers really yes they seem to be and they're in california you think I they'll come to union with me to, so <laughs> to yunnan so here's here's what when you were in the bathroom they they sent a super chat but they also messaged me on Cameo, um and they have a rock cutter, uh and they their channels they messaged you on Cameo yeah they I, there was some issue with uh, putting the message in the did super they have chat. to pay to message you uh yes how much did they pay uh six dollars <laughs> that's great. If you have well, any inquiries to the show, just message back. Okay. So, <laughs> so it was a weird sequence of events, Ethan. The way they became aware of this is they left a one hundred dollar super chat, oh, and it was, it was kind of like a broken sentence that didn't really make any sense. But it said, one of the things that it said was Zach cameo, and that caused him to go look at his cameo. <laughs> Thank and sure you for enough, the she promo. sent a message there. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not sure how that all happened, but the message was received, and. Um, I guess email me if you're if you are Emerald. Uh, I, listen, if we could get some live fucking jade cutting going on up in this am, podcast, I am be sick. wicked cool, man. I am deep, deep, deep into jade talk right now. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> but here uh, is a new one on the stone cutting craze that's taking over. This woman, well, I can't even say that it's part of the craze. She's clearly been doing this for a long time. Um, she's digging a quarry under her house. That's right. She's digging a quarry. Yeah, you sent this mm -hmm. the other right. night, and I was. I don't think I. I was taken aback. I've been following her for a long, long time. 
So let's see what she's doing here. Now, I have a lot of concerns about this, but let's just watch this one. Got a new challenge. Recently, I've been exploiting a single layer of hardened sandstone. It is wonderful as the rock breaks easily into blocks. Feel like I'm playing Minecraft. They will be easy to utilize in my plans of constructing a tower off the side of my house and eventually a castle. <laughs> Unfortunately, Dark. the vein is getting exhausted and thinner. The rock above and below is too fragile to use <clears throat> for building. It's now a couple days later and I have some better news. Two feet down from the exhausted layer, there appears to be more hard rock. It will take me a while to determine the depth, but the top part is very promising. To give a bit more context, this is the old layer, and all the way down here at 25 feet is the new one. So far, the rock that I've been mining in this new layer is a bit more fractured and smaller than the other one, but I can still use it. Okay, do okay. we know this is really under her house? <laughs> it, I've been watching this for a year at least. It's, her name is Kala. And yeah, she's just building a massive cave under her house, and it's super fascinating. Where? That can't be legal. <laughs> well, that was kind of like my dig thought. into the earth? Yeah, I mean, even if it's not illegal, just... Uh, Dangerous. Right, what, like cave-in or something? No, yeah. she's, she, she, she like steadies she's it up and everything. She puts uh, metal rods and then puts cement on the roof. She does it like according to... Uh, listen, okay. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure you need a permit for well, that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not denying that. <laughs> Hell uh, but it's awesome. She made this ma like she's really smart. She made this massive like elevator that lifts up a bunch of rocks and dumps oh. it out. It's so sick. That's do, cool. Do we know where she lives or? I've been trying to figure it out. She has I don't know, Kala. I don't know what that name. She sounds American. Sounds her. American. Yeah. And so the question I guess is where in the country is there's this type of bedrock under homes? <laughs> Here, let's watch. I mean, if you go this down deep enough, probably anywhere, right? Doesn't uh, I don't know, actually. I have no idea. Hmm. No clue. I've developed a nice automated process for removing rock from my tunnel yeah. system. Using this Landworks minecart, I am able to dump the material so directly awesome. into this an elevator. This is no longer playing pretend. Design, this is for real. Constraint. I can oh, yeah. only rent a dumpster for two weeks before accruing a daily surcharge. I cannot mine that fast. It is laborious <laughs> Is she doing this all herself? Yeah. Yeah. I can't imagine she has many friends, and I don't say that mean. <laughs> Wait, but who I needs just friends? Make an assumption. Who needs friends when you're building a mine under your house? Who Not better her. to share Stones the mine are my with? friends now. Don't Maybe need. the mines to get away. Maybe. Yo, wait a minute. Think she find any jade down there? She, she could collab, Sheesh. make a friend. Emerald. I already have good ideas. If we can reach out to her, maybe I can get down there and help her dig. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would love to. You guys could start a fight well, I think club. we should. Let's let's try and make contact. I we can bring the geologist with, with, and he can tell her why this is such a bad idea. Yeah. This is just, this is a geology podcast from now on. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. We're into <laughs> jade. We're into quarrying. We're stone folk. Stone crafting. Stone, stone folk. <laughs> I'm gonna join the, the free, I'm gonna join the Freemasons. Three weeks or more oh, to extract too. different things. I'm in. Different thing. No, they're all about stones. Yeah. They're all about stones. Okay, dope. Let's do that. A full ten cubic yards. So I end up staging the rock in my basement. This pile is six feet tall and contains eight cubic yards. I am not complaining because there is nothing more rewarding than transferring oh rock from the pile to the chute. <laughs> it feels like working in an old assembly line. But this is an extra step which decreases automation. When designing a process, throughput is constrained by bottlenecks. It doesn't matter how much automation mm, is true. introduced if the bottleneck is, is not this addressed. This girl has a lot of re money. <laughs> That's why I'm thinking she's not from America and maybe like a... Yeah, the, where it's cheaper to get uh, things. Whatever. This looks expensive. I don't care where you are. <laughs> yeah. You know, she has like a complicated pulley, electronic pulley system. Yeah. Her The name of her channel is Engineer Everything, so maybe she's got a really good job. It's maybe. just a... Maybe she's an entrepreneur. Just a hobby. Maybe she's what? An entrepreneur, like Gary Vee. Oh. 
She's looking for different perspectives from <laughs> yeah. down below. That's why she's getting down so low. <laughs> <laughs> There's new perspectives down there. <laughs> Dude, send Gary V to Gaza. He'll make he would, peace. He would settle this. Yeah. Wait, that's why you're saying that, right? Yeah, Not, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. got it. Listen, uh, here's Get the your... thing. What's be- The only thing better than being born rich is being born in Gaza. <laughs> True. There's nothing more motivating that gets me hungrier than being bombed than being born in a war-torn, bombed-out yeah. hellhole. That's how you, yeah. Now, put that phone down. <laughs> Through said, hardship, he, he, he will rise above. Right <laughs> Wait, there was a Gary Vee thing that I sent you guys. That there was. Where there was, was that? Was. Do we have uh, that? Of him. You're talking about the, the beer one? Um, yes. Yeah. Do we have that? I don't believe so. Let me look at the chat. Gary V. Uh, I know really the exact one here. Yeah, I'm just going to go to his Instagram. I Instagram can find again. post. I think he's, I think he's lost the plot. I think he's fallen off. Uh, is his engagement down? Yes. Here, here it is. Uh, the well, likes this on his one Instagram that we're talking about. Different perspectives. Here, I'll send it. I mean, has, we already... uh, it has 800,000, almost 900,000 views, so. 26,000 likes, though. Yeah, the likes aren't great. The views on Instagram are generally pretty high. Yeah, I suppose that's true. <laughs> so... Check this this one was a hit for him, though. Like, this is more than all the rest of his shit. But that's what I'm saying, dude. He has fallen off. If his right. good posts are doing 26,000... Mm. Um, oh, this one has... Oh, that's a sticky, that's why. This one has 14,000. He's quoting himself. He's doing Ty Lopez shit, you guys. <laughs> the number one reason that people struggle with time management is because they beat themselves up for not having... Shut up. Knowledge. What is the, that's way too much text for, like, a... Fuck the week. Like, you need to make that snappier. Like, that's a whole paragraph. Absolutely. But this guy already got the bag scamming people. Mm, scamming. Knowledge. But. Selling people v friends. Yeah, definitely. This one has 2,000 uh, likes. Uh, it says, the person who sent you this wants to grab a coffee with you. And Gary thought, garage. Gary was like, I'm going to post this bomb content. I'm going to make a video that's going to get so much engagement. <laughs> they're going to send it to all their pals. That's check, right. Check the engagement. I think those on, are the craziest videos. What, Cam? Uh, check the engagement on the link I just sent. This okay. This is his finest hour. Okay. Let's see here. When he's Shrek posting. Shrek posting? Yeah. <laughs> he did what now? When I hear 22-year-olds say they haven't made it yet. You know who liked this post? Who? Sebastian? Mark Zuckerberg. Oh. Shrek cock. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's fucked. Shrek cock. He's saying, is he saying that's embarrassing? Yeah, I don't what? know what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe here we'll see. It'll... It's a blessing. You have He's saying they got time. Five more lives. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. The, oh. The, the, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Kinda, kinda, kinda Are you sure? I'm, uh, that's one of his main. Well, here, here, here. here. <laughs> really? I mean it. Probably with modern medicine, four to five more lives. More lives. So imagine why I get so upset when you're stressed that you haven't done it yet. I get the feeling this guy never listens to anyone ever. He's Hell just no. always talking at people. Always. <laughs> he's so, saying, he, I, I don't hate what he's saying here, though. Well, yeah, I mean, he just st- talks all damn day. Yeah. But, also, like, the met- like, that's the thing, like, compared to, let's just say, all of the uh, alpha influencers <laughs> out there, at least his message is not as toxic. It's toxic. I don't think his message is as toxic as yeah. the alpha guys. But telling somebody that they shouldn't feel bad for not being successful at 22. Okay, first of like, all, that is conventional fucking knowledge, okay? I don't not in his world. Yeah, that's yeah, the thing. Not, not in his world. Yeah. You're a fucking loser if you haven't made it. Dude, what 22-year-old? You haven't started three old, businesses? What 22-year-old in today's society that is totally stacked against you in every single imaginable way is doing anything with their fucking life? <laughs> like, genuinely. Hmm. Um, and I love you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm with you. My spirit is with you. But the reason I guess Gary Vee is funnier is because how, how serious people take him. I think that's the part that tickles right. me. He's yeah. a little bit more uh, mainstream. Anyway, credibility. here's the video that pissed me off. The person who sent you this wants you to know. <laughs> he Aww. put the coffee in you guys. It says Be You. I think one time my mom sent me one of these. I was like, the person who sent you this wants you to know. And then it said, like, you're a wonderful daughter or something very <laughs> cute and sappy. 
What is this, Gary? Are you like a 16 year old? What girly things are? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Be you. Also, what if Be you? you? What if Me. you're a serial killer? <laughs> Be you. Yeah, some people should not be, be you. less like yeah. you and more like some me. of y'all really Jeffrey need to Donald. reflect. Gary, yeah, Gary, you should be more like me. Yeah, it, it's not a universal advice. Sometimes being you is just the wrong damn thing to do. Yeah, you want to be you know run away from that. Not everybody, most of the people. That's good advice, but I would you know, see this is why I'm. This is why I would be a great motivational speaker. <laughs> Also, isn't that message weird for him? Because he's like always challenging people to get outside their comfort zone and stuff, which goes against that message. Yeah. Interesting. It's kind of contradictory. Be you, which is almost like be you is like, you know, different perspectives. Whatever comes naturally to you. Right. Mm. Don't listen to me. Just be, be to you. yourself. Yeah. Anyway, I thought it was so corny. Like, bro, you posted this. <laughs> I like that it pissed you off so bad. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's very stupid. This is the... <laughs> but I, like, I didn't get mad. I just kind of laughed. I just, like, what is wrong with this guy that he thought <laughs> to post this? He's so bothered. <laughs> it's just absurd. <laughs> absurd. Wait, USB 2002 is asking, no one really asked, but how are you, bro? You, the I'm person right, reading man. this. Oh, wait. Who They're are? really trying to break through. I'm just looking at this comment, the top comment on the video. They're talking to me? The video. To you. Oh, yeah. oh, that was the on the video. That yeah. The video. How are you doing out there? Everybody listening, how are you guys doing? How are you? I hope you're a all nightmare. being you today. A nightmare. A nightmare. Um, God, I could watch Gary Vee videos all day, man. A let's nightmare. do it. Should we? Well, let's look into more engineering forever or everything. Let's see. Let's just look at one of her new ones. Like, what's she up this to in the garden? Vegetable garden? Oh, that's like that looks like a normal ass neighborhood. <laughs> look at that. This is my vegetable garden. It's been a bountiful year, not for vegetables, but for weeds. I have a small <laughs> Aww, strawberry. Being the bright side. And she would be an interesting guest. Trumpet vine, but I'm thinking it might be something She's else. She's definitely being and herself. Club. Yeah. Be yeah. you. And a little bit of ragweed. I love the smell of ragweed. <laughs> Most importantly is this English ivy. She's got style too. She does. Posting up in the bushes. Grace. I don't, I didn't, this one wasn't checked, so I don't know if the audio is. Oh. oh. Okay. Careful, careful now. Yeah, she would be. That would be a really interesting guest. Uh, I I have something important to ask, though. Go ahead. I'm hearing a lot of talk about this pit and the rocks, collecting the rocks, and how it's all going towards this goal, building a castle. I don't understand Which, the castle part. Th it, an admirable goal. Someone who also wishes to have a castle. Total respect. You're still bro. Are you seriously going to call yourself a socialist? Huh? You want a <laughs> castle? You think I want? Ethan, I want everyone to have a castle. <laughs> okay, yeah. you understand? Wow. Fair enough, fair enough. Don't you need peasants and shit That's at your name. castle? <laughs> huh? You need peasants at your castle. You don't there's, need there's a it. Lot of you're, work thinking more, you're thinking more of like a manor. I don't want a manor. Castle? I want a castle. You need servants at the castle. No, no well, no. there's the servants. servants. You want to be a count, Dan? I yeah. don't need servants. I don't need servants. I'm just, I'm interested in the, in the real estate. You just yeah. want space. Yeah. And stone. The high ceilings. Yeah. And I want to be able to dress up like a knight and pretend like I'm battling monsters. Oh, yeah. Is that so much to ask? No. Anyways, my point is I respect the goal. <laughs> Where is the progress on the castle? Yeah. I was scrolling through. All right. I, I see a lot of digging. I see a lot of talk about a castle. I feel like you have enough stones at this point <laughs> to at least get started. Yeah, do, let's, do even, let's make the moat. Do you even play yeah, Fortnite, no. dude? You gotta get the material before you build. You right? can build. She knows what she's doing. Yeah, but... She does. I mean, she knows what she's doing, Dan. She actually even trialed a cement pouring around her house. So she's working up, uh, fine-tuning her Fortnite. like strategies and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. then she's gonna build a castle. The castle is a, the castle is a new addition to the lore. To the, to the engineering and everything is a lore. recent development. Mm. Yeah, it's like a couple yeah. of weeks ago. It's an underground castle? Okay. No, it's gonna be on top. Yeah. Well, she's just building a foundation? Mark. Maybe she like did. a parking garage. Is she building the dungeon right now? <laughs> she's building a dungeon. Yeah, she's building a dungeon. Oh, interesting. I guess you would need to start with that, wouldn't you? Yeah. Okay. Here fair. is an interesting comment. Someone said, what do you do for work? She said, computer engineer. That <laughs> pays well. There you go. Yeah, I mean, some some jobs pay crazy good. If you're, depends who you work for, how much experience, but I've heard of 
computer engineers making almost a million dollars. Yeah. Damn. If you're like senior and work for the big companies, it's crazy. It women makes... in STEM, we love it. What? Women in STEM, we love we it. We love women in STEM. Mm-hmm. Oh, we love STEM women. We're standing <laughs> so hard right now. Mm-hmm. It makes sense too, because she does like really advanced math. Just yeah, she's all the time. Clearly, insanely like this, smart. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say this is probably somewhere in the south. Looks I like maybe New England, eh? Different heights to get them but I could be wrong. She's doing PSI measurements here, guys. Wow. Yeah. We are measuring. She wants to measure. We are charting. How far down her mind goes. But obviously, it's vertical and down and up and down and up. So she uses pressure to measure. Mental, man. Yeah. Wow. So she Don't calculates how much pressure is equals to feet. It's very cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So there it is. Not Her out. name is uh, Engineer Everything. She rocks. On TikTok. Kyla. Oh, she has a YouTube channel? Oh, she has an Amazon wish list. Let's see what she's got. We can buy her. She wants uh This appears to be yes. stuff to, to help. <laughs> Make the castle, the castle, which uh, <laughs> which is noble goal. Yeah, we need a Absolutely. cement. <laughs> Dude, cement she's mixer. so odd. who the fuck else? Would have... <laughs> I need a cement mixer. I need a land work utility service well, cart that... wheelbarrow. Why is that cart so expensive? Oh, is it like powered? That thing's oh, gotta okay. be heavy. Got it. Does it have a lift? Oh, she that thing's heavy, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah, got she it, lifts. Uh, that's how she gets even... rid of her rocks. Yeah. Oh. I hope she updates this because she already has one of those. Maybe it's she breaking. She needs more. Yeah, maybe it's breaking. <laughs> she wants a power drill, <laughs> jackhammer. This is some crazy ass battery that costs two thousand dollars. Fuck. It's a welder. Oh, is it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You'll see. You can buy her pillows. I don't think that's what that is. <laughs> you can buy her <laughs> some uh, her crown molding. Apparently, she's asking for crown molding. Oh, that's. That's just for the house, I guess. <laughs> That's just for her enjoyment. That's not for the castle. And she wants a book here. You can buy yourself a book, girl. The Storm of Steel. <laughs> you can buy yourself this, a book. In a book? Girl. First you know. account of World War <laughs> One trench combat. Oh, trenches. Has to do with digging. <gasps> <laughs> She's got passion. There you go. Girl's She's got consistent. Passions. She wants this shirt, apparently. She wants... I get her that shirt. A suggestion. She wants <laughs> this Tillman... Flame, oh, flame retardant. retardant. Okay. <laughs> Done, Mama. I got that for you. She wants a flame retardant shirt, girl. You need to be careful. It's That's probably smart. to uh, to weld in, right? Yeah, for sure. She wants this gold pendant. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Can we awesome. buy that for her? Oh. That's Rose a beautiful gold. pendant. It's called romantic jewelry Christmas present for wife. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Sure. Over my On another page, she wants zero proof rum. Awesome. Zero proof. alcohol free rum. <laughs> yeah, interesting. I feel like I'm learning so much about her. Huh? Well, there it is. So much to see. So much to learn. I, I mean, this is such an interesting thing that people do with the uh, mm-hmm. the public like wish. Hey, can someone like buy that. me this book? Yeah, I want to do that. I'm just gonna make a public wish. I bet people do fucking it. they'll hook you up, Dan. Huh? I'm gonna get a too. book. <laughs> we should all do. <laughs> I'll, I'll promote your I'm shit, down. Dan. Dan, make your Amazon win. I don't, I don't know. I don't have anything that I want. That's the problem. Oh, I'm sure you could think oh, of many snooze. things. There's some a snooze. lot of good books out there. Yeah, maybe some books. Vegetables. Some vegetable kids. books. Just buy me vegetables, <laughs> vegetable <man>. books. <laughs> All right, let's see. We're rounding out here. Uh, it's been what, how long has it been? Uh, three hours, twenty-three minutes, and seven seconds. Oh, and how many? How far long now? Uh, we're up to eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You. Would you like me to keep you updated? I'm good. Sixteen. Mm-hmm. Coming up on 20 right now. Do we have something on Friday or is it a normal? Because there's a lot of shit here I want to. Uh, Not this Friday. The next one. Oh, I saw people. Um, and maybe We should just address because uh, we had mentioned that Curtis Connor was coming on soon on the show. And I saw a lot of comments oh. asking what happened. He was supposed to come last Friday, which was the episode we ended up canceling to take a personal day. So unfortunately, it just didn't happen. But we'll get him back on, right, uh, right, right, in the uh, near future. Well, also, also, I was like, bro, you don't want to, you don't want to be in close. Yeah, it was in the right midst now. of all of this war talk, and it's uh, not a good he, time he, for you for yeah, anyone. To we didn't want to me. drag him into that. 
Uh, th- also, this up and coming Friday, I will not be here. Zachy. Miss you. Zach. Come on. Miss you. Hey. Hey. Yay. The you snooze doing? convention's in town, so, you know, I gotta. Zach, give us a <laughs> smile. Brighten up our day. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Not that. Not Yo. that. Yeah, Just the a smile. Maybe. Just hey, the my day. Enough. Just the smile, please. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, good, because there's a lot of stuff here I want to talk about still, like um, this new <laughs> alpha male that says, I just talk about cats. And then there's the sci- this guy who harasses Scientologists, which oh, is... Oh, the cat video. <laughs> That's right. We were supposed to talk about that on Monday. We didn't get to it. And then there's another thing I really want to talk about. That Oh, yeah, my new Cairo champ, the vampire hunter. <laughs> Sick. So I can, I can say... Here, let me just pull... <laughs> yeah, we got to... We got to... Uh... How do you say, uh, fill time on Friday, so, uh... Why do you say that? <laughs> I'm just saying, if we, if we don't do it today, then we get a head start on Friday. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Good. Uh, this is... No, this isn't the one I want. I want to watch the, the cat guy. Hold on. This is... Yeah. <laughs> get a load of this kid, man. What is everybody saying eel pit? I'm seeing a lot of eel oh, pit. a TikTok thing. Yeah, there's another person on TikTok who similarly has dug right. an eel pit. What? We should, yeah. do a, we should do a deep dive on Friday of that. It's yeah, so that's good. really oh, cool. rabbit hole. Eel I pit. love yeah. the eel pit. Mm. It's so good. I know everything about the eel pit. <laughs> really? Okay. Why are y'all holding out on me? Yeah. Yeah. I've never heard of this. Okay, so Friday we'll do an eel pit. Uh, yes. pit report. Pit deep dive. Also, something really fun that's gonna happen on Friday is um, so Tom Ward, everyone's favorite, is calling in on Friday to share his expertise in appliances, specifically yes. dishwashers, to end end the lifelong debate that says you do not need to pre-rinse dishes before they go in the washing machine. This is a raging debate that's been happening worldwide. <laughs> Uh, we're going to be doing some experiments. Dan ha- already has strong opinions, which I'll ask you to hold. Hold them. Just know that I've learned a lot in the last 24 hours. I've learned a lot. Yeah. No, that's true. He's washer woke, bro. <laughs> and he's turned, me, he's turned me. Are you washed or are you dirty, bro? Yeah, I've already converted Zach. <laughs> he's been evangelizing the whole office. I can't shut up about it. I don't even have a I'm washing obsessed. machine. All right, let me watch this dude and then we can leave. All right, all right. <laughs> Oh yeah, well I'll, we'll also be debating uh, the Israel and Gaza conflict with Tom. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, so stay tuned. For Tom, that. thoughts on a one state versus a two state? <laughs> that, that's my new favorite question for anyone. <laughs> oh fuck! Here. Uh, oh shit! Oh, sorry, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I just turned it up. All right, Jacob, lay it on me, bro. H3H3, H3. You, you've heard of him? Yeah, of course. Dude, he, he's so fucking demented in his brain. <laughs> they talk about the most, like, farted shit. Yeah. He talks about, like, cats, bro, and all this dumb shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, bro, people who watch that, I literally look at it as, like, you're microwaving your body. You're yeah. microwaving your brain, your thought process. Is that phenomenal or what? <laughs> it sounds like somebody who's watched a lot of H3 podcasts, for sure. You just That's the thing that you drew on? <laughs> that I talk about cats? <laughs> I mean, there's so many things I do talk about that are off color. <coughs> Cats is one I can't say that I've talked a lot about. Not a frequent topic of conversation on this show. What did he even see? I can't even, I can't even think of a clip where I'm talking about cats ever. In his defense, I brought up a cat today, but that was the first time I recall. True. I guess you're right. We talked. Yeah, I can't stop talking about cats. You, yeah. you gave an apology to cats like one year ago. That was like you did because you talk shit. And that's the, that's why. This really doesn't have a lot of credibility because anybody that knows you knows that one of your biggest flaws <laughs> is your hatred. I'm open minded. Felines. I'm open minded. That being said, I'm definitely a dog person. Let's put it that way. It's fine to prefer dogs, but what is not fine? I just I don't have good experience. Cats. I'm a I'm a I'm a cat catist. You just need some exposure, man. You guys just gotta adopt it. Just adopt a fucking little kitten, dude. You it's know, pussy I'm doing a little bit of a deep dive of when we talked about cats a lot. And we did talk about the cat movie quite a bit. Or the 
cat like live action thing. <laughs> okay, that was that that movie was, was so yeah. so insane. Cool. They talk about that a considerable amount. Was that what he said, man? Maybe so, <laughs> he's talking about cats, the musical. Let's watch it again. <laughs> Andrew Lloyd Webber. I need to watch this. Nice again. one. <laughs> Absolutely. So again, yes, he, it is. he starts by showing this photo. You lost of me. his damn mind writing that. All right. You, you've heard of him? Yeah, of course. Dude, he, he's so fucking demented in his brain. They <laughs> talk about the most like farted <laughs> shit. Yeah. He talks about like. Also, like, what did you use this clip of me dancing and having fun and just, <laughs> you know, like a whole thing? Because you look like place. a fool. <laughs> I guess. You look Cats, like Cats, bro, and all this fool. dumb shit. Yeah. I'm like, bro, people who watch that. What the fuck? <laughs> it's just the weirdest um, cri uh, criticism maybe ever. I gotta say, through the years, there's been some wild shit people say about you. <laughs> that shit's so fucking off, but this is definitely the most, like, what the fuck it's is just he talking about? bizarre. <laughs> He fell off. He talks about cats now. <laughs> he talks about cats and shit. That's awesome. Who can listen to that? I mean, he can say we talk about toilets too much, shit, yeah, ordering it, food. Oh my god, there's so many things you yeah. can say that we threat, talk about too that's much. That's legitimate. Yeah. yeah. Harvey Weinstein. I'm always getting banned. Harvey Weinstein. I'm a hater. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I just spread negativity, whatever. Like these all. Annoying, mm -hmm. I, ignorant, mm -hmm. stupid, moron, right. dumbass. <laughs> yeah, all that stuff works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cats? Um, I literally look at it as like you're microwaving your body. You're yeah. microwaving your brain, your thought Microwaving process. your body. Cool. Sounds cool. What does that even mean? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man, but... I feel like my body is microwaved. I don't get my, you mean my, like my body, bro. <laughs> so, should I try to reach out to have this guy call him? We had that other guy, but he, he missed the moment. He missed the moment. He tried, like, a week later. He was like, hey, can we do this? But, um... Destiny came knocking and he he he, he turned it. off the lights and hid behind the couch, pretending nobody was home. So this kid is selling a program, how to make ten thousand dollars a month. Oh man, that's crazy. By the way, the one about me, of course, gets more views than his average. Not a yeah, lot. Yeah, I mean, look at this. This guy doesn't even get. Although this views. yo, this one got nine hundred thousand. So let's. Oh wow. Eight. Yeah. In twenty twelve, I bought two hundred iPhone cases. I went to a swap meet. It's like a market, and you could bring stuff. And this you is a fake podcast. This is a fake story. So, Mike's yeah. not even plugged in. You know? <laughs> it, it's called Jake. Oh, really? His mic is, is, it, is it plugged in? I, I think so. His audio is pretty, pretty the good. The biggest mistake that. I've had in life yeah, so no, far is I can I'll... see the cable hanging down. Uh, uh, but what's this fake podcast trend that you see in the alpha world? In 2012, just make I a real podcast. Uh, you've gone through all the work. Yeah, they don't have that much Dude, to say. We should make true. true. First segment, we should make like five TikTok accounts of five different podcasts. <laughs> that <laughs> Anyway, I went to a swap meet. It's like a market, and you could bring stuff. Here is uh, anyway. <laughs> here's this one has nine hundred thousand views. Let's see. Let's listen. Oh, I'm buttoned because I made a joke that wasn't funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not offensive. Well, it yeah, for sure. Not <laughs> offensive at all. Right. Yeah, it wasn't that no. it was offensive. It was just it landed really flat. Mm. Nobody laughed. Yeah, it wasn't good. Yeah, I buttoned. I panicked. Is this the longest we've gone without hitting the button? Oh, right. I should write yeah, that down. I think there's been episodes where we didn't hit it. Really? Oh, shit. I think so. Right here. In 2012, I bought 200 iPhone cases. I went to a swap meet. It's like a market, and you could bring stuff. This you man know. is talking to people that doesn't know what a swap meet is. He says, I went to the swap meet. It's like a market. I didn't need that. And you could bring stuff. It's and you had to spot swap meet is kind of like a weird term. I don't know what a swap meet is. Doesn't I'm everybody know what a swap meet is? Does anybody here not know what a swap meet is? I don't Other know. Other than love. Is. But that's okay because it's, uh, I think it's a cultural thing. I don't know. Olivia? I have no idea what that no, is. No, I oh, don't shit, know okay. what it is. Okay. Yeah, see, Shiver I think swap meets are kind of old school, dude. Shiver me timbers. Shiver me timbers. It's like well, what it was when I was a kid. My dad used to love this shit because he's a cheapo. It's a giant fucking lot and everybody just comes in and sets up booths and sells all their junk. Yeah. Mm. It's crazy. Kind of like a... Uh, Prompto mall almost, but just like with individual <laughs> little like booths of people selling shit. I used to go to the Valley Swap Meet every Saturday. Yeah, I used to go to that one a lot. Uh, anyway, okay. I, I stand corrected, there. Jacob. Well done. 
bought me. It's like a market and you could bring stuff. And okay. you rent a spot, the spot was 50 bucks. I bought the cases myself. It was $10 for 10 cases on Amazon. So I bought 200 and this one dude, he went up to me, the only guy I pretty much bought from us. And he came up to me and he was like, I, I realized in retrospect he was hitting on my mom. He fucking gave me a hundred dollar bill. He's like, how much does this get me? And I was like, 10? <laughs> and this fucking guy's like, I want two. And then leaving this place, that's the only ones I sold pretty much. Everyone was broke as fuck there. It was a terrible, ideal customer was not there. 12 years old, so retarded. It was a terrible business plan. In what was the point in that this? video? Wow. wow. He's like, cool. I had this brilliant idea when I was a kid. <laughs> It was horrible. It was dumb. Nobody, nobody bought mom. anything. Just there was one, there was one weird dude who was trying to fuck my mom, and he gave me a hundred bucks. Yes, for two mommies instead of one. Yo, dude, that's the what kind of alpha? This is the weirdest red pill. Your brain's too microwave to understand. <laughs> your your body's too microwave. My yeah. body is nuked right now. If we put it in cat terms, would you maybe understand that? Mm. God, that was the weirdest fucking yeah. alpha video. The only way ever. I get through to Ethan. What? I'm seeing a lot of people say they know swap meets as flea markets. Which, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay, same saying. thing. Flea yeah, markets. Shout out to the uh, yeah. the Florida swap meet uh, flea market in Broward. Anyone, any of our Florida viewers will know that place is Shout insane. Fort it Lauderdale. Is in fucking insane that place. I've seen someone get stabbed there. <laughs> okay, that's fun. Yeah. You never know what you find at the swap meet. Yeah, Might be a body. Good deals though. Good, great deals. This one has 5 million views. You know what's even cooler than one of these things? Having one downstairs. And the reason I say that is because you probably think I'm like one of these other guys in this app. Goes and tries to sell you something. I'm not here to sell you guys anything. What I will say is that I Dude, who's buying shit from this 15 year old? I mean, I don't know how old he is. But... Uh... Written... He's in a high building. 21, I think. 21? Okay. I'm glad he's not 15, actually. That wouldn't be good. He's He's 21. Absolutely. Which is the perfect age to buy a course from somebody. Right. <laughs> I have an application form below where I will personally teach you and just show you the ropes of what I've been able to do to do well, overall support myself in life. And if that's something you're interested in, you want to have a mentor and someone to guide you, you can apply below and I'll send you a text if it looks like a good fit. Do a quick intro Wait, call. Wait, why does this have so many views? Oh, he must have run this as an ad. Yeah. yeah. There's no comments. Okay, this is an ad. Dude. Likelihood of you being successful at my age is based on luck. It's like this guy's 21. The m most likely is that he's lucky, not I mean, talented. Th there's also a willingness to. No, there he's really right. smart and business savvy, it seems, and he knows how to make a really good podcast. Yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking yeah. for a mentor. Yeah. That flea, mar that right flea market story really, you know, resonated with me. Yeah. It felt very powerful to me. <laughs> um,. <clears throat> okay, this is interesting. Okay, okay, I see what's going on. This has three million. I have an opportunity oh, this is, for this is also percent. an ad. Interesting. Out of you. The reason I'm saying five percent is because, frankly, I'd say 90, 95 percent of people watching this video aren't going to do well. It's not. Oh yeah, I was going to say. I think a lot of people. He takes that five percent. It's luck, but also it's a lot of how much of a giant piece of shit are you willing to be? Because <laughs> there's a lot of things that a dude like this. I don't know him, so I'm just making an assumption, but a lot of the dude like this and all the, like, on, wannabe entrepreneurs, like, they have no Five scruples. Percent. They will yeah. do the most shady shit to make money. And I feel like if you're willing to just, you know, break the law, to scam people, to be dishonest, then you could probably get rich pretty fairly easily. Mm -hmm. But you have to be kind Five of a psycho. Percent more trust. I mean, you see it at a small scale at restaurants when there's like the, <sighs> the wait staff that try to upsell everyone. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. But there's, oh, like yeah. a, there's a type, like the dude who's like 40, still working there. No offense if that's one of you guys, but uh, and just like super aggressive, not giving a fuck. There it is. He should just go sell, he should just go drop shit. He'd be way richer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go sell some fake COVID masks. <laughs> <laughs> On a fake podcast. Really, you, your current mindset, your perspective. I'm here to tell you a simple thing. If you want to work directly with me, you want me to mentor you, I'm here to do that. You can apply below. Oh, you're so lame, dude. We've seen this so many times. Yeah. It's the same old, same old. That's why I was kind of like, eh, to the call idea. It's like, but like, cares? look, so he's got all these videos. And then all of a sudden, he's like, oh, shit, I got to get on this Ethan hate. <laughs> Bad way. Those videos are popping off. Oh, yeah. I think oh, it yeah. probably unironically was crazy. that. He probably doesn't even know who you are. Clearly not. Yeah. All he knows is that you talk about cats. Yeah. So. 
the comments are cheers, my dude, and anyone else never heard of H three H three. Thanks, bro. Now this person has. <laughs> you can see why Love this one really connected with his audience. This is from two days ago, so cheers to Cam Grumpy. Cheers, my dude. I'm gonna like that. Love ya. <laughs> cheers, Cam Grumpy. Love ya. Cheers. Cheers, my dude. Love ya. Love ya. <laughs> no homo, am I right? Love ya. No homo. <laughs> All right, so that's it. That's the show, people. So th remember, tomorrow there is no leftovers. And not because it's canceled, but because it's VidCon. Yeah. TwitchCon. TwitchCon, yeah. Or TwitchCon, or TwitchCon. And Hassan, I don't know if you guys know this, is a Twitch. A Twitcher. A Twitch person. Mm -hmm. Good uh, luck with all of so that. So good. You can't leftovers. even make conspiracy theories. This was already planned. And actually. Moreover, we should say that um, maybe I don't want to say what just in case it doesn't work out because it's not a thousand percent confirmed, but we have big guest next Thursday. Oh, it's not hundred percent confirmed. Not it's let's say it's ninety nine percent. But so we just we just did the bait and switch with Curtis Connor, so I'm being a little cautious. So yeah, hopefully it comes through because that would be a real be a spicy episode. I'm gonna have to do a lot of prep for that one. Yeah. But it'll be worth it. Yep. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for playing. H3 Podcast here on this beautiful Wednesday evening, 5 o'clock p.m. Beautiful sunset outside. Go ahead and look out the window. Get some fresh air. Give your kids a kiss. And remember, <clears throat> if you're feeling down, just don't. This is yours. Ethan Klein, signing out. <laughs>